Then it fell off like a bad boy. Boy, 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 What's happening, y'all? Think Twice podcast is in the building. You did. Uh, Kareem Shadon. Rock. You know what I'm saying? Rashid out the magnolia. Know your body, body. Yeah, we in this thing, man. You see that right there? Get, get, get the mic set. What's up, Blake Prime? My check, my check. <laughs> NH time, you heard me? My check. Elena, what's going on? Mr. Luke. My check, my Seven mile, big guy. Y'all coming in the building, y'all early. Yeah, man, man. Let's get it in. What they say, wipe your feet. Wipe your feet, we hit the door, I mean, hit the like button. What's up, Andy, bro? Happy belated birthday, brother. More money. Ryrie. If it wipe your feet, y'all hit the building. Make the lights up, man. It must be them dudes in um Saint Bernard Parish talking about us in the barber shop. What they say? What they say? I don't know what they was talking about, man. I ain't get the full scoop, but they was out here talking about the twins, Rashid out the Magnolia, and um, Terrence Gangster Williams. Yeah, I was like, oh wow, but he was talking like he was there and shit. Y'all need to get an international tea on y'all podcast. T T the home and I'm ready to catch up with him. It won't be no problem. T done been here before. I just I didn't ha I didn't have a pocket at that time, but he he done been here before. Yeah, what's happening, the fellas off trail, y'all? What's that, Gulla? Uh, what's that? Yeah, we gonna talk about they did BG. How we feel about that? Yeah, they did. We gonna talk about that tonight, though. That's just our opinion. But what you mean? What they what they were saying in the barbershop? shop? Oh, I ain't tell you, huh? Yeah. No, you, you ain't tell me. You ain't tell me the yeah, whole thing. Man. No, you ain't tell me. I'd be so interested in what niggas be talking right. about. You know, running their mouth in a barbershop. Um, they don't be know who they be talking around. Somebody, you know, up in there giving them their haircut and shit. Yeah. They running their mouth. I didn't know in, into detail what they was talking about. But they did have a little episode that supposedly happened with me. And I'm like, damn, how did that happen? For one, I've never been caught up in no situation to be talked about in that light. Yeah. And then second of all, I don't even know you, cat. I got pictures of you. <laughs> but just, 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 I'm just saying that to go to show you how how cats be sitting around barbershop talking and don't know who the hell they talking about. Enough for to just get a phone call and we'd have been pulled up on them and been like, yeah, yeah, man, you what can happened? tell me that to my face. Yeah, what you, you saying, know? man? Yeah, you know. Man. So how does a man have enough energy over another man? You know, your whole conversation say, be about a nigga. You no, know, what he say or how he feel affect you. Man, that shit crazy. You know, What's up, Mo? If you feel a certain way, that's how you feel. It don't affect me, dog. What's up, Big Money Sweets? You know, what you eat don't make me shit. You know? What's up What's up with the sound, boss? Mo, we kind of off on the sound. What's going on, man? But I say they watching, though, man. They, that mean they watching. They paying attention. Yeah. I say, so I guess that's be the ones who be up in here. Like, we got 44 heads and I don't know how many likes. 29 likes. They Come be on, one man. of them other people. You know, them other, Come on, uh, man. 14, 15, Say, bro, we one of y'all, bro. You did? We one of y'all. We ain't better than y'all. We one of y'all. Fuck, man. Bro, I'm, what a nigga, man. Wayne on WWE right before I called on here. I'm bro. Shout out to Wayne, man. What's up, Kobe? What's up, cuz? Yeah, man. Oh, sound low. Let me turn up a little bit. Mic check. Yep, yep. Maybe it's a little louder. You can hear it now? Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm still trying to figure out my, 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 Some my, my. Thumbs up if the sound good, man. Yeah, thumbs up with the sound good, man. Y'all thumbs up for the sound right, man. We trying to get it right. We working on it, y'all. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. They say it's good. Question for Rashid from 504 Spaz Out. How did you and C. Murder feel about Soldier Slim beefing with his brother, being that you're from the Mac and C was cool with him? Um, basically, we, we knew it wasn't nothing, wasn't, wasn't, wasn't nothing more to it, man. You know what I'm saying? Slim was in his feelings. All the certain certain things that transpired with him going to jail and all this kind of stuff and how he felt how P should have moved behind that. And um but at the end of the day, that's all it was, man. Y'all caught that on, on on the music side of it, him dissing P or, or whatever. But me and C personally, we didn't have no uh 
no issues with him saying what he's saying and feeling how he feel. He a man. He got to keep it how he wants it. All of us had our certain um, feelings about what what he wanted to go play basketball. Or whatever. So that was up. That's that's what all that was. That was up. That's all. That's what's up. Good question though, man. A lot of people want to know that. You know what I'm saying? That's a pretty good question that they asked. Yeah, unless you uh, lost, it's all good. They did. It, it, it was the better team, man. I still smash Angel Reese. Yeah, she can back me now. And uh, something beating LSU right now, y'all. Southern University beating LSU in baseball right now. Seven Mile has the bad weather we started in H Town yet? Nah, not yet. They supposed to be bad weather coming out here? No, it's more than I have. Oh, man, you might have three seasons in Houston, bro. I ain't gonna yeah, lie to you. One day, El Yino out here, man. El Yino. They asked that uh, P used to be in the St. Thomas. Nah, I don't ever know nothing about storm. that. No, I don't know nah. about that either. No, it's not storm where we at right now. It might storm later, but it's right now. It's cool. That's the call in number, man. Y'all got any questions? Y'all call in the Think Twice podcast. Y'all hit you the know, like button, man. Hit the like button, man. Hit the cash app. Y'all share the video. Hit the notification bell, which puts us in the algorithm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Y'all been rocking with us, man. We've been doing good with y'all. Let's keep it up. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna talk about BG situation. We're gonna wait for a few more people to get in here, man. Uh. We've only been on for five minutes. We're going to wait about 10 more minutes. Five more minutes. We're going to get into this BG situation, man. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Johnny? What's up, Johnny Boo? Ron and Bruce, they twins. Y'all know Mel from the LD? Well, man, we know a few Mel. Yeah. They got a melody. They got a, a dude named Mel. Yeah, my dad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wine, what's happening, twins? Shout out to New Limit. What's good, Rock? Wow. What's happening, Pimper? What's here? It's storming out there in uh, St. Louis. Oh, shit. Yep. Yep. Hey, Johnny Booty been asking for you, dog. You he been just asking spoke for to you. Name, Johnny Boo. Yeah. You know, somebody, somebody asked me earlier about the uh about the fight that Slim and uh Claudia had. I Claudia said I don't head. know who was out. There. I know Johnny B was out there. You was sure, out there, sure. Johnny Boo. They say it's storming in Dallas too. Damn. Damn. Man. Every time it's storming. I wonder what year that was, man. What year that was? Every time. Bro. I can get some clarification by the year. Damn Packers fell apart. They did, bro. Two three. Romel and the better on family. Yeah, they all G's, bro. Yeah, they all G's, oh, Ronald. I'm yeah. Thomas D. Yeah. Yeah, Romel and Ben on. Mel Ben on. Romel, they, they was gangsters, bro. Johnny Boo said it happened in 2002. Yeah, I was running hard mm-hmm. in the Thomas. It was weeks before Slim passed. Weeks right before oh, Slim passed. Oh, okay. So it was late in the game. Seven miles Most said storm in here. Out there. Most definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I know for a fact that's a lie. <laughs> now. Big guy 470 said, I haven't forgotten about y'all neither. I've just been learning more about the filming and thing. Work. We're still going to work. Yeah, man. We here, man. We here for that, bro. Don't even trip. Don't trip. What you trying to say, Rashid? What's man? up, like, SB? Man, what you trying to say? What's up, SB? Captain on the internet. Rock. <laughs> Rock, you know Meatball? Meatball, yeah. Yeah, everybody know Meatball, son. Mm-hmm. What's good, SB, to come up? What's up, G? But the DBs they had no shit up. Me and my cousin used to go get my grandma wigs and get to him so they can have this shit. That boy say, but the DBs we ain't had no shootout with Glade B though. I ain't never heard that. With Claude B. With Claude B. No, I ain't never heard that. I never heard that. I never heard that one. Somebody said y'all had a shootout with Claude B. What's up, Vaughn? I just heard they had a fight and that was it. I heard Claude B and so the Slim had a shootout. Them two had a shootout. I heard that. I he know. said M True M True Eleven said that. Oh, I, I I ain't see his video though. I don't know if he, I, I don't know. I ain't see That's it. That's cap. Right, you know the dude at the end of the straight from the projects. Which one? What they talking about? The dude from the straight uh, straight from the projects. Which end? one? Yeah, who? Everybody in there. The Elio. Uh, Johnny Boo said M Eleven said that on the story he dropped. I ain't see it yet, man. I wasn't out there though, so I don't, I couldn't oh, tell you. He Johnny own, he Boo, he was own, out there, Johnny he Boo. He got his own memory, bro. That's all I'm going to say. Johnny Boo, you was out there. You saw him? I don't understand. Slim and Cardi, why? What's, 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 what's up? What's up, Monique? Monique? What's going on? So, yo, we in here. We're going to talk about what's going on with BG, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. You got to be the dumbest PO of the year, bro. Like, we got to speak up on that, man. Yeah, we got to ride for BG, though. God damn. I mean, we sit there and talk shit about our people. We will stand up and talk good yeah, on our shit, people, man. The shit they talking about with the man. That's what this man make his living off. Well, how the fuck you supposed to feed his family? Get a real really? job. Come on, man. This is work. Not just that. How many rappers went to jail before BG and got out and did the same thing BG doing, but they ain't locked him up? I know. You know what I'm saying? But like, God damn. Master Flight Major said, Emmy Levin must be lame. How y'all acting? 
I, I ain't watched it. I ain't never watched it, so I can't say. I ain't, I didn't watch it. I ain't saying that, man. I'm asking the question that people ask me. No, I ain't saying he lame, but sometimes, man, sometimes your story just be like, nobody don't know him but you. But Yeah, that's it. You know, I ain't going to say that. I ain't going to say on there and diss him, you know? No, I ain't going to say that. I wasn't over there. I was in the project, but I wasn't on Willow Street when that happened. Yeah, BG situation messed up, man. It's messed up. It's messed up, bro. It's messed up to the point of, uh, just say if he wouldn't have been no rapper. Just say if he was going to work at Walmart or something. You mean to tell me they got feelings here? I'm going to go to jail because I'm working with feelings? Right, somebody, come, somebody come buy a bag full of groceries. Yeah, your damn brother could be a felon. Your cousin, you could go by your auntie's house, your grandma's house. You All these. Man, a reunion. Man, that's fine. Business. Bro. Yeah. You a rapper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he out. Yeah, 100% yeah. of these rappers, fellas. Yeah, he out. Yeah, he, he out. out. He out, Mo. It's just, it's, just, it's just like they showing you. The club promoter, felon. Yeah. The people that hire you might be a felon. Your boss might be a felon. You know what I'm saying? Like, like showing you what kind of power they got, how they use their power to manip- manipulate their power. Yeah, they just want to keep the boy. Yeah, what, what in, you in want the man to do? Man. You just want to keep man. him in the situation. Like, like that, on, man. We got to stand behind him, y'all. Use our voice and at least bring some attention and awareness to the shit like man. Or say J- J2K2, even if you want to say it's because he promoted violence. Every rapper that come on, Tupac, everybody rapper that came on promoted violence. Right. Why they single out BG right. of all people? Right. Probably, probably, probably it could be that. We gonna throw that out there, man. We don't know. We gonna throw that out there though. Probably, probably, yeah. Probably okay. You don't want to do this because you want to keep a pull of this image. He said, "Emmy Eleven." Johnny Boo said, "Emmy Eleven not lame. He a hundred, but but the shootout didn't happen. He must was on. I must was on X pills. Was lit on X pills. I ain't see it yet." I ain't never watched it, bro. Yeah, I ain't never watched it. Y'all hit the like button. Y'all come in the building. Yeah, man. y'all hit the like button, man. We got 95 people in here, man. You GTA know? 5 for more violence. Whoa, what's good? What's good? Toe to toe? Toe 10 toe? Yeah, so so this is what I'm saying. Like, this is what they fucking with BG for. They say that he's doing a, a, a business with felons. He's an entertainer. What you expect him to do? Who are you doing business with? Who's the felons? What's Gucci, the man. Gucci, man. Yeah, he's a, a, he's a, an artist. A, a refined felon. Well, right. uh, 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 finesse. I'm just saying, this is what they saying. I don't, yeah. I'm feeling yeah. like you can do, man. I'm going to entertain them. You know, so what What you trying to really say? What you saying? What you, you trying to show the world? What you, what you trying to show the world? You showing them you, that, y'all, that y'all racist. That what you showing them. You dig? Speed up, see. Why y'all mess with him 11 when he watch y'all get jumped in the club? He ain't never watch us get jumped in the club. We were jumping somebody in the club. And, you know. There's someone close to BG hating on him, calling the people on him. But even if they call the people on him, dog, like. Nah, them people be following you, man. I'm going to tell you, man. Feed up message. Yeah, feed up, feed up message, yeah. Feed up message, dog. I said, bro, listen, yeah, that did happen, though. We got past that, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to my boy Black from uh, 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 the Zion Galvis, man. What's up, Janice Boo, bro? Yeah, we're going to have to to push Sheed in the middle, bro. We're going to have to push Sheed in the middle. We're going to push Sheed in the middle, dog. That's how they got to be. We're going to do that Wednesday, bro. We're going to be yeah. in the middle. That's how we're going to do that. Yeah. They look a little bit more organized, huh? Mm-hmm. What's up, Dave? Counting the building, man. Y'all like the video, man. Black Prime TV. He black, period. Exactly. That's what it's all. That's what it's really about. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's really about. How you going to get on somebody for, for, for working with a, with a, with, 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 with a felon? That's I always cool. remind always remind people that Ben Rogers better rape the woman. Yep. Ben Rogers broke grape somebody. And, and Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning one time. Peyton Manning somebody. Not to that extent. When I, they put me on probation, and they were talking about I had to get a job. And I'm like, I cut hair. Yeah. And they was like, you cut hair in the shop? I'm like, no, nah, my house is my shop. Well, you got to get a job, job. Well, that was real quick to get the job. That's the mad right now. Yeah. Damn. 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 I'm gonna try to get somebody up in here, man. We gonna we gonna get it popping like that, man. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to build it, man. Build it's building, it's building. building still. So y'all trust just... me, and it's gonna be in the near future, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all build that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They doing that with BG, man. Yeah, they doing that bad, bro. Yeah, they doing that bad. What's up, nine eight five? What's, what's that? that? What's that? I'm checking that salute, salute. You did. Hey, I wanna say, man. Shout out to Malik Spellman. You did uh, to the Gangster Chronicles. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to that boy, SPI, Spider Lope. You understand? Uh, uh, Melly Mel, the little post, man. 89 on up home. I'll be checking the bars out. Cartoon, fire travel on. Y'all be messing with them dudes, man. Master yeah. Flight. Shit, man. Vamp, out cold. Out cold lame. 
Master Flash. Santana Block, Melly Mel, yeah, man. Yeah, we fuck with them. The post, the hood post, man. Yeah, the hood post, man. So BG can't be around anyone with a criminal record? Nope. No. According to uh, his, his stipulations of his parole? <laughs> man, that's crazy, man. <laughs> Feed up. What's up, feed up? See my feed up. That nigga feed up be dropping his nuts, though. I ain't gonna lie, son. I gotta give him his props. He don't hold nothing back. You do your homework, man. Nah, bro. You do your own homework, bro. Man, you from uptown, it ain't hard to find out. New Orleans smart. Say, say, Devin, it is impossible. Like, how you gonna come home and find a job and nobody's a felon, bro? Like, let's just that's not even realistic. Yeah, that part. Yeah, then then the man is a felon. How you gonna get him a job? It's not even realistic. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that done came home from jail that was in the entertainment industry ended up doing well, business with well, fellas. BGK should be like, I'm, I was a celebrity before I went to jail, so my my, my family lived a certain lifestyle. Right, right. So I got to continue to have them live in that lifestyle. Not right. What job that I can get as a fellow? Not exactly. I'm an entertainer. Yeah. That's what I do for a living. I'm an exactly. This my work. Man, that shit. Like, he's always POS. He's a bitch. He the first one to do that because every nigga that came home, they did music with other fellas, man. They ain't locking them back up and all that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Feed I don't up. like I don't like the witch hunt type shit to be feed doing. Feed up, say keep doing y'all thing, man. Love the way y'all get down. Y'all get it 100. Appreciate your feed up. Salute, G. Appreciate you, homie. Sure. We got a phone call coming in, y'all. Think Twice Podcast. What's happening with it? Yeah, what's going on, bro? What's happening? Okay. What's up, Red? Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate you, brother. Sure, Dang. <laughs> Appreciate that, bro. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad to see you, my G, man. I ain't kidding, man. I'm glad to see you, man. I ain't kidding, man. I'm glad to see you, man. Corey Patrick, yeah, they um they hung out sometimes together. You gotta read the uh the, the thing. Yeah, Corey Patrick, yeah, Rock did see BG and Slim all used to be together at the same time. Yeah, at some points in time they have in the studio session. Mm -hmm. Damn, kill, salute, bro, Kevin. Yeah. Y'all saw the Gangsta Web series? Yeah, I saw one episode. It was I liked it. Mm -hmm. He needs to change the laws quick. BG just handling business. That's oh, all he doing. Hold up, Devin, that's a good point you just made. Devin said Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart both were felons. That's crazy. Yeah. That's right. They had a cooking show. Yeah, they they ain't like Snoop up but Martha Stewart up. You know what I'm saying? They both were felons. No, I'm talking about I mean, for that. after they got out, I'm saying they still, that. they working together. They ain't locked them up. They didn't change no, no laws, dog. I don't think that's no law though. Uh, John Frank say feed up called BG a dolphin. Well, he was at one time, bro. So he didn't lie on him. He straight now. But at one time, yeah, BG was getting out. Seriously, bro. They fly Davey on, so need to change the laws quick. BG just handling business. I agree. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, man? How the man gonna feed his family all on his neck like that? Right. I don't right. like that, bro. That shit is whack. You know what I'm saying? That's whack. Mm -hmm. That's some so bullshit. So he's saying, because he went and did the little show with Boosie, that was bad. Man, it's some other bullshit that didn't pull out the ass about the man. They just make it sound like something. I don't think, I don't know. It's just cold, man. It did. I don't know, bro. It's just cold. Like, I don't even know what to say about the shit, bro. Right. Rashid, you ever thought about rapping? Nah. Rashid used to think he could play basketball, man. Yeah, Rashid's cool. Yeah. BG might have a lawsuit for discrimination. He might, Tony. He might. He, he just, just might. He just might. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of people that have got out of jail, bro, and had to work with fellas. That was the only way to get to the Because, like I said, it didn't, to it didn't happen to nobody else. Right. You know? Right. It didn't happen to nobody else. Man, look, my teacher said, John Henry Clark said, we ain't got no friends. Yep. Stop lying to him. Either one, nobody like Anyway, today is April the first. It's April the first. Yesterday was Easter, and today is April Fool's Day. Mm, ironic. Huh? Whoopie fucking do. Ironic. Ain't that, that ironic? That. Ain't that ironic? Ain't nobody business what he do. Like Lil Wayne said about the lean. Don't worry about what's in my cup. Yeah, well, ain't all you do is go in there. Yeah, what's in my cup, man? April Fool's. Yep. That's what it is, bro. April Fool's. You know what I'm saying? Easter the next day, April Fool's. Can't make this shit. I made the post like that. Louisiana is different. Yeah, it's different. Stay fly, Davion. You know that? Yeah, it's Charles coming from Louisiana. You got... mm -hmm. Let me say this here before we get into the show, too. And I want to say this here, and I hope Gita write this down and quote this here. In New Orleans, they had a little thing last week. They were saying the young versus the old. You know what I'm saying? Listen. What do you mean? 
Dude, that's like the, the, young, the young dudes. The young generation the versus the old school, old generation. This yeah. is that type of shit. Yeah. Let me explain something to you niggas, man. Don't get washed up in that fucking battle, bro, because guess what? No matter what happens, we in this battle together. Ain't no young versus old, bro, because guess what? Anybody that's young, if you're lucky, you're going to get old. Yeah. So how you against that? You're going to get old anyway, nigga. What's up, Harry? Getting old is the prize. Yeah. Getting old is the goal. Yeah. See what I'm saying? See what, see what I'm saying? I'm trying to give him the game. Getting old is the goal. You understand? So ain't no young against the old though, because we y'all y'all coming up behind us. Y'all the generation behind us. I feel like this. I, I you ain't gotta listen. I give it to you. But on top of that, I feel good if I told you. On top of that, you gotta understand, like the people that's shooting us down and giving us these senses, they don't care if we young or we old. They're right. not asking our age for their shooters in our back no. and beat the shit out no. of us. They, like, us up. they don't care if we old or we young. You right. know what I'm saying? I just that you talking about some y'all young, but you 30 years old. You sorry? Mother, Stupid. you lame ass man. Nigga. Come on, man. If you thirty years old, New Orleans, you an OG. You an OG, bro. One hundred sixty people there, seventy six like, man. Come on, man. We gotta do better than that. You man. know what I'm talking about, bro? Straight like that. In New Orleans, if you if you over if you thirty years old or over, you was an OG there, bro. Yeah, bro. In that city. And bro. guess what, bro? They ain't got no more. Uh, they got rid of uh, uh, the uh, the uh, the debt penalty in, in uh, San Quentin. That's one of the last prisons that they had to get through. Everybody going to different prisons. They got rid of it. They got rid of it. Yeah, other places do have. Mhm. Most definitely, most definitely, man. You did. But he say, like he said, man, there's no young versus old, man. We all in the in, the, in we're this together, together, man. man. We're in this shit together. They don't care if you young or you old. They care if they feel like you a threat to, to genetic male survival. You know, we've been preaching that for a and long that's why time. That's why you study your history too, because guess what? Yeah. Guess what? So look, the enemy will make it a young versus old, light skin versus dark skin. Yeah. You no, know, uh, 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 male yeah, versus yeah, woman. Yeah. You know. At the same time, we in the same struggle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We in the same struggle no matter what we want to all this inter, inter, in the house fighting and shit. Right. That's why when I was and young. They don't do it. I didn't understand. They don't do it on no level. I didn't understand when my mama whipped my ass to fight my brother and my sister more than anything else. Yep. That's why. Yeah, yep. on the sport they sure all come is none of that. You know, all the people do that. Seven miles say BG a real solid nigga. He he showed wherever he went. Yeah, I had partner from Detroit they used to call me and say, man, BG out here in Detroit and he out here in Grand Rapids and like more than one nigga, like BG was really out there in Detroit and Grand Rapids and all that shit, moving around, doing his thing, man. Real yeah, talk. You know, once you have to say, life you have to say, it too, was a whole different story. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? It was. When him and Slim was trying to do their thing, man, them boys was really doing their thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga asked, uh, uh, Rock, was P scared of Sue tonight? I'm trolling, man. Yeah, oh, no. no. No, indeed. You forgot what uh, P told Sue? <laughs> We used to be in California. We was just smart about it. We know we out of we out of, we out of our jurisdiction. So we weren't around here no big and bold and shit, but no one thing. If you came in our circle in our states, it just wouldn't go down. Straight up. Man, nigga to uh to Master Pete. So they say she'll to Master Pete, uh California ain't big ain't big enough for the both of us. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? He said, Well, where you gonna move at? <laughs> Where you moving at? I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going man, nowhere. Look, man, look, man. Y'all can ask that question all day, man. If you're a man, you're a man. You're going to stand on business, man. Wherever you go in life, it don't matter where you're from. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, we wasn't in California moving around like that. Like, we had rules. Like, he'll tell you don't go nowhere. But they always took an ignorance on one. Like myself, I wasn't no artist. So, I ain't feel like some of those rules applied to me, and like, even though they did. Yeah. So, I was going to Fox Hill Mall and all that shit. Taking the band on my damn own, you know what I'm saying. And um, and what I learned is, people from other places could tell you not from there. So they can tell by the way they you can walk, have. You can see the, the stuff you, you see on TV. Uh, what's it? What's up, fool? What's your set? That shit probably happens sometimes, but that's not no big thing. That ain't happened to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I walk places, people automatically knew that dude ain't from here. You see what I'm saying? At least I was in LA when I went, bro. If you wasn't no enemy, man, them dudes weren't really tripping, tripping on you like that. Right. Uh-huh. Not the real hard hitters, the niggas that really was gang banging. Yeah, they in was on their enemy. Yeah, they was on their sections, yeah. though. I, ain't, I, ain't gonna front. I, I was going to some hoods when I was going to get some smoke. We was in some hood when it's like that. But I ain't stayed fucking long enough to be, you know what I mean? So well, Yeah, Mike David. That's what they trying to do. They're trying to violate BG. Yeah. They, they say he working with other felons. Which is some bullshit. This man is entertainer, man. Yeah. What the fuck you want him to do? How you, Why do you even fuck? We need a, a little How you can tell that? 
Yeah, us, but us being the audience, us being the consumer, we need to go ahead on step up and say, look, look, when he get this phone call, hey, man, I got 40K over here for you to do this here. He got to say, wait, hold up, bro. You a fella? Man, Are any on, fellas man. working? Is anybody in the crew, the sound crew a fella? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Is the band a fella? The DJ a fella? Yeah. The promoter a fella? We, you got to watch is all the that. the patrons that come into the, is this all a non fella? It, it's again? right. It's, it's just cold, bro. It's, it's cold. cold, bro. It's cold. It's cold. That's why that shit kept. But I ain't gonna lie, I stand behind BG. I do Somebody too. gotta instead of making fun of the nigga and try to you know down and put his name in the mother for content, I'm gonna be the type of person to stand up for him like man, be riding with BG. Yeah, Cause that's foul, man. They don't do it to nobody else, like your boy said earlier. They ain't do it to Snoop and Martha. What's her name when they had Martha Stewart? Show? Martha Stewart. They broke it out. They broke it out of prison. Yeah. They broke the fellas working together. And y'all know Biden declared uh, uh, Easter, uh, what they call Trans- it, transmission day of visibility. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. I can't say that word. That's why I say transmission. Oh. You can't say that word right there because they well, really. I thought that's the real word. Transmission. It, the real word is what you said, but you can't say it on, on, on what they call it. Wow. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, wow. man. Wow. Yeah. Damn, y'all yeah. gave them motherfucking power for the black man. Ashante, Alicia Keys, who is more beautiful? I like, I like Alicia, Alicia Keys, Keys a little beautiful more. beautiful to me. Yeah. I love who? Her. Alicia Keys. Uh, Ashante. Ashante. Who more beautiful? You like Ashante? I like Alicia Keys. Ashante got the little bit of teeth. She got a little bit of teeth. She got the little teeth and big teeth. Who? I didn't think she was no born no Cosby show boy. Chris, no one with bills on it. I thought that was a boy. That boy Angel Huff. See, Mary J. Farmer. She ain't, Mary J. used to be. She used to be Mary man, J. Stop hating on Mary. Mary man. No, maybe she can picture with Mary J. on the beach. Yeah, nigga, nice. Cottage cheese, boy. You crazy. Yeah, cottage cheese. That's why Rashid can hook me up with nothing, whoa. Rashid say nice. That was a nice. photoshop. Man, y'all seen through my marriage on that beach, man. Man, Pac said Mary, Mary J. Pac said there. Mary J. sat on his lap and it smelled like fish. It smelled like fish. What Pac oh, said? Damn, Pac. <laughs> yeah, Pac said that. But I love Mary J. Don't you lie? She's sexy. She's fine. Yeah. Put some respect on Mary now. I didn't like when she was playing that role. I want you was too hard. Come See, on, yeah, man. See, yeah, because Bobo Vogusto so shit. They ain't do it, but Kodak Black and Bobby Smurder. That's right. Boosie, either way, they sing a lot of cheesy. Yeah, that's, that's, and that's why we really made this post, man. You know what I'm saying? Why would they sing a lot of cheesy of all people? They ain't do it to Gucci. They ain't do the Gucci. They, they ain't do, do it to the next. Wait, hold on. Honeycomb. They, they ain't do it to the, the, the rappers who they saying this guy is dealing with. Yeah. Yeah. None of them. None of them. That shit crazy, man. Matt. None of them. Like you said, fuck BG prosecutor. Your man, his, his PO. Whoever's supposed to be standing by him and be like, man, I'm not going to violate him for that. How you supposed to feed his family? He said, y'all fuck with Don Chief out of Dallas music? I never heard of him, bro. I, I never heard. Oh, Don Chief, the dude. I thought he was a promoter or something. I seen them on Weird Life Street Stars a few times. Shout out to them dudes too, my partner. You mm-hmm. did cool cats. He said, hell no. I ain't gonna look at it a little more of us if my shit smell like fish. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, man, I seen the two part documentary and my proxy be sitting on my lap and it smell like fish. Man, what look, we got 116 people in here, man. I wanna give a shout out to uh Ryder James. Ryder underscore James 900. He a dude that I heard on Get It Spade on page. He has a song called uh what's the song called? Uh I'll be here. Yeah. If yeah. you listen to the song, dude is a hip hop artist. What his name? Uh his name is uh uh Ryder Ryder underscore James nine hundred. Y'all check him out. Yeah, y'all check him out, man. Uh I only I'm only up in his music because I like this song. Oh man, I like this song. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they ain't do the T I E the bro. Think about it. T I came uh-huh. home. But you like he said. They did did it a little bit on me. Didn't get back to nothing. But they say he could do no more fellas? But T.I. had to do the tips thing. No, what I'm saying is they locked BG up again. Yeah, they locked them up again. He had to get back out of jail. out again. You know? Why they figure out what they're going to do, man? That's some bullshit. That boy say BG is a P.O. is a church fan. That's why he got violated. Probably. Well, that's cool, boy. Don't say that, bro. We all got one of the big dads. I think I was going to take it off, bro. Another LeBron came in close. Like, no, women, they talking about the dick. What are you talking about? The men or the women? I thought Boots had it the same when he was released from Angola. He couldn't be around fellas and shit. I, we all, that's what it's supposed to be, but I think they know that you're an entertainer, bro. They understand that you're going to be around other people. You're going to be doing other shit. Well, that's, that's, well, that's why we're doing the whole podcast, because why you going to lock him up and this shit ain't going on? screen every fucking body you go around. It's a business. And that's deal. In rap, in hip-hop, you can't screen everybody you go around. Can't. Hip-hop is, is, is that's, a, that's a component of hip-hop. Yeah. Fellas. Yeah. Man, that's crazy, bro. I guess that's what you want from me. 
They did it again because hold on, they did get Ti again because he got on an RV and his release. It was stupid. He had to serve another thirty days. He did. We not, but we've been into my locking PJ up and letting them back up time, though. Right. Yeah, a different thing with yeah, the two they're trying to violate. And they trying to really violate the dude, bro. And we ain't finna stand for that shit, man. That ain't cool, bro. Yeah, something the going fuck? on with that in Louisiana. Because I'm telling you, doing that to my little prostitute. Yeah, you were telling me earlier that they did, they pulled some bullshit on your little partner. Yeah, so he got to Yeah, man. What's up, Smiley? What's up, Smiley? Say, bro, y'all seen that, uh... Y'all like the video when y'all come in the room, man. Think Twice Podcast, man. We in this joint, man. Y'all seen that, uh... Y'all seen that white dude get uh, uh, right at the Muslim dude? That Muslim dude whipped his ass. No, I ain't seen. You seen the video? What happened? Man, they had a Muslim dude on the corner. I guess he was selling this fruit or oh, yeah, I saw that. or whatever. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a, a black Muslim. <laughs> yeah. Foi or something like that. Yeah. 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 Man, white dude running that boy full speed. He grabbed that boy, yeah, super, suplexed his dumb ass. Boom. Yeah, they work. Once he suplexed him, yeah, that nigga beat the dog shit out. That's what he get. That's good I said, for that's him. Good. Boy, I laughed. That tickled my soul. Boy, Allahu Akbar. That tickle my soul. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. That why did they tell Lil Wayne anything when he came home? Right? See, I don't know why they did yeah. that. What's yeah. up, King yeah. Buck? Why? What it do, G? Because who filming it? No, not that. You saw the other guy, the first guy I went home. They mm. gave Wayne Gucci and Tip year in a day. Yeah, that's crazy, man. They gave Wayne Gucci and Tip a year in a day. <laughs> What's up, Jay? What's up, Cub? What's happening, Five? What's happening with it? What's up, Buck? Why? I don't know. I can't say, bro. I can't say. All we really speaking on is. Why they trying to pretend like BG can't work with felons and the man is an owner tenant? I don't get it. If he go to Walmart, he can work around felons, bro. That's just I think it's it's just a sin for you to be trying to do that. It's like what else he's supposed to do if he can't make music right now? Exactly, seven miles we see. Yeah, what else he supposed to do? Man, I want the man to rhyme. Music since he was what, thirteen years old? Twelve years old, thirteen years old. Yeah. So he don't know no he don't have no nothing for no work for. They said, look, Troy Steen said, how can a reunion happen if Wayne fell in and Turk and BG? Hold up, on a, on, a, on a bigger note, though, dog, let's, let's back, back up for just for a second. Yeah. Just talk to the youngsters. You see this shit, youngster? This man gave this fucking system 12 years of his life. He did. The, he, he was in the cell for 12 years of his life. He come home and still can't make an honest living. Yeah. You see what I'm trying to tell y'all, bro? We say this game is bullshit. Don't listen to this shit, bro. We're up against the system where you was the fucking force to lose, little brothers. Yeah. You is set up to lose. Yep. Say like that. J five five four. So y'all gonna listen to my fuck with my little partner, No Flaw Steve. I gave No Flaw Steve props on the last one, bro. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, we talked about him. I, 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 yeah, I know. Yeah, he, yeah, he get on. Kelly will say that because BG was not big like them, like them. That's why he didn't get a year in a day. It ain't. I feel like though. I feel like his PO, his yep. parole officer. Yeah. The one that's in charge of his monitoring and well being when he home. Yeah. Should understand and know. Okay. He is an artist. I know he's not doing, you know, this is what they do. She's supposed to let that go. She can hey. approve uh, unapprove well, that. Hey. Time it is. Just, just oh, racist. One of them red just don't care. Like, you yeah, don't go man. by this book yeah, all the way man. to the teeth. We ain't going for it nine days now here, but we don't feel like that. Come on, man. Everybody put no red shit off, no red shit next shit off, no New Orleans, boy. Man, that's cold, bro. I just want us to wake up and pay attention, family. That's all I want us to do, wake up and pay attention. Smell the fucking roses, bro. BG can still make music. You don't have to be in the yo with them to make music. He can send them his verse. Yeah, well, that's true. not just that. That's true. It's not even about, about where he at. It's about who he dealing with, like who he working with. Right, like what if he go on the road and on his van, he got somebody in his van that's a fella. Yeah, man. Or if you do a hot boys too, man. Turk a fella. Yeah. Wayne a fella. Yeah. You know? Yeah, man. Man, they trying to, man, they trying to, make, man, it's war on us from all directions. Uptown 504 say BG knew the terms and conditions was when he signed the paper. Yeah, but you know, I ain't gonna. But what's more important? Take care of my family? Are these terms and conditions? I'm just sitting on my ass, can't do nothing about them. Literally, my time to eat. You yeah. know what I'm saying? One felony will ruin your life. You're right. St. Thomas and Clarence, but the crazy part is the PO was giving him permission to do all those things, right? Yeah. She knew he was going to such and such do this song with such and such. Yeah. So it must be over her head. It yeah. must be like, you know what? You want to let him still do this? And you... man, that's, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. Bro. Look, look. But the crazy part of the PO was giving permission to do all other things. Man, that's crazy from Eastside New Orleans. Word package. Brock, did you need BG in the nose? No, I actually didn't need BG. But really, before BG was BG. You know what I'm saying? Just, just let Doogie? Yeah, Doogie and all that kind of stuff. You know, that, that was me. Right, that boy said anybody in the crowd could be a felon. You're right, Pat. That's why the shit don't make sense. That's why bro. it don't make sense. 
You know, it don't make sense. There's something else about this shit that's going to come out soon. We're going to stand behind PG. We're going to, man, hold up, hold up man. Because we let that shit ride with PG, going to start trying to do that with everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They going to fix it, man. Because I, I can guarantee you, he could go to some court, higher up, and they're going to say, this is his job way of making money. This is livelihood. He got to maintain the livelihood that he had all these years. Right? Somebody have to go to the there. Supreme Court or something, go to like a higher... That's what's going to have to happen. Yeah. If, they, if they try to enforce this stuff, I just think it was just real, real talk. Yeah. I know there's some stipulations in there that says that he can't be around fellas, but you can't tell a man he got to go get a regular job. Right. Man, some people just be in it for the money if they know you got a bag. You write seven miles, they do be in it for the, for the money. Yeah, I agree. And finally, said, Miss Simmons, mama said, See? they just mad with him because he won't That's help them I out. That's what I said in the beginning. It could be that too. Yeah, yeah. He ain't about to try to help them bust no nigga. He don't want rat or something, probably. You know, it's not about no one rat. It's not just about that. It's just about you don't want to be a face with uh, reform. Yeah, 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 like they want to make Because it's going to mess up your image. Yeah. yeah, you know how they try to shoot T.I. down for doing that. Yeah, uh, yeah. That, 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 that commercial. Seven one three tips. So, but yeah, we might tip. we might actually start up an online petition for uh for BG with that bullshit right there, man. So, so like yeah. I said, we let that pass right there. They gonna start doing all kinds. They gonna start pulling off all kind of fluke fluff so bullshit. You know when you don't help them, uh, them niggas go do everything in their power. That's the business, man. I talked to a cat, man. They said that's the business. Don't really keep getting more money and shit. Oh, man. That boy said, I got locked up on a second degree murder charge just because I was at the bar and that when it went down. That's cold, man. What's up, Nathaniel? What's up, Nathaniel? Damn, see, that's cold, man. Did y'all see uh, 607 on clone? No. Nah. Nah. What's that? What's that, bro? Y'all know JoJo Capone? He used to be with Birdman. He used to hang in the NOLA. He's from Chicago. Nah. Um, nah. I don't know him, bro. I don't know. Probably if I see a picture of him. Cause like when they were shooting videos in the early days, we used to be around a lot of them dudes, man. So Jim Crow's laws in Louisiana, crazy. Yeah, they crazy, bro. Yeah. So y'all see, oh, let's get on this for a quick second. I don't want one, one, one y'all out of here. I know it's 124 y'all in here. Uh oh. Y'all remember that scalding water hit y'all ass, run like a scalding dog. Oh, uh, hold on. Before you go there, man, I want to send this shit out to Van Kivo. His son was killed in uh in uh Detroit, man. Oh, I mean, man. in Michigan, not Detroit. He was killed in Michigan. He was 15 years old. You dig? Uh. And that's why I say you got to be careful what you what you say on the internet because it won't be a nigga you got a problem with. It'll be somebody he know. Yep. That going to take the shit further than what they need and need to go. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be careful with that. It's black men. This shit is not fun and it's not a game. Well, let, me, let me run some people out of our chat right quick. We got to drop now. We got to stay true to our platform. You know? Yeah, we've been, yeah, he's been, been a couple of them. Let me say this, Jim. Y'all see that they found they got the, they got the black, they didn't found the black Jesus now. Jesus black, huh? You ain't see that? No. Russia? Oh yeah, that's Russia. Fake. Russia revealed that's that Jesus news. is black. Fake Maybe news. we got them at them at them in the people face. If he black, his name's Jerome. Yeah. Yeah, but then no Russia, no Russian media outlet put that out. No, so where they got it from? TikTok. Let me say this: Did y'all see the faces of the people? Man, <laughs> when the people look like white people, they got black skin. They look like white people. That was not African. That, man, that was man, TikTok, man. Man, no, they put that out. Damn. I know they put it out. TikTok. Look it up. Every every, every source going to come up is TikTok. End of the day, well, it don't matter to me. I don't give a fuck if it was purple, green, Damn. red, white, and blue, right, 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 orange, burgundy. I'm just saying, but you know that's still it's, like, it's like when they made Santa Claus black. That's they didn't believe Santa Russia. Claus when they started. Because they had no black Santa Claus in the 60s and the 70s. Yeah. He came out in the 80s when everybody started taking the Christmas pictures. Black Santa no, Claus. No, the Russia point I'm making is, I'm saying, no, 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 ever. no. People was believing in this, bro. They believe in that, oh, I knew he was black all along. I knew he was black already. Look at Mike. Vladimir Putin is telling the truth. Those are real icons. Say, brother. Say, brother. Say, brother. You mean to tell me an all-powerful, almighty God is black? And he watched the black dynamic on the bottom, white dynamic on the top globally. And don't do nothing about it? And he black? Man, sit your dumb ass down. You got about your goddamn mind. <laughs> I don't have a stupid, I gotta have a stupid button. Yeah, we gotta, yeah, we gotta have. Yeah, I need a dumbass button to hit. Yeah, it. man. man. Sit your dumb ass down. You crazy. Wah, 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 wah. Hold on, I think we got that one, bro. Yeah, I got man. it in my sound effects. Got that yeah. one. Yeah. Gotta give him that one. And then if you say some stupid shit, you gotta be like, <laughs> You serious, man? Listen. That is cap. What's up, Simply D? Yeah. You can make them any color you want, just, just like every culture does. Yeah, you can do what you the want. The Asians have Buddha. 
I think y'all looking at things That's all wrong. Dog. I ain't looking at things at all, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit, bro, you know what it is, bro? See, see what it is is you scared to take Jesus' titty out of your mouth. You know that they lied to us, but you scared to let go. Because you worry about what's going to happen to you when you die. You don't care about right now when you're signing on the ground. You don't care about that. And I just like that. That's how I Christian think. Straight Boss and Podcast. J504 say, that say, they said the color of skin came from changes in the diet. I don't believe that. Let me ask you something, bro. <laughs> do you know? Not. Do you know that Christ? Hold on, hold on. We got a question. When we go back to that, Giggy just said a dude named Tonto was one of the Magnolia landlords had the longest run untouched. Is that true? I don't know about no longest running, no drugs or nothing about that. But he is, he's definitely a legendary dude. Legendary for, sure, for, for, sure. Sure. <sighs> for sure, for sure. No doubt about that. I wouldn't he, deny he that. He about that. But he did go to jail, though, like a couple of years ago. What's your content about so I'll know what to ask you guys and bring up in the future? We talk about a plethora of things. Religion, politics. Right now we talking about hip-hop, hip-hop black Jesus in Russia. Music, everything. You know what I'm everything. saying? Everything. Yeah. We talk about everything. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just saying it because Easter was yesterday. And not today is April Fool's. Ha <laughs> ha, gotcha. Gotcha. Got him. Can't make, can't make this shit up. Got him. G- I can't make this shit up. Nah, bro. G2K, G2K2 Entertainment. He Christ says Christ is, is a level, level of consciousness. Exactly. That's exactly. what it is. Exactly. Definitely. That's what it is. Yeah. For sure. Christ is a level of consciousness, man. Christ is a consciousness. Is it. Margaret Brandon said, what's up with the C, the Cello and G show? When is it coming back? I don't know, but we can talk to him. That's my partner, so it's going to be coming back soon, bro. Y'all know the history of Russia? I know the history of Africa. That's what I know. I don't know the history of Russia. No. Oh, barren they barely got a history. Oh, barren ass wasteland where it's cold all the time. My people ain't from there. It's too cold. We don't like that. We're a tropical, yeah, we tropical people. people. How we about tropical, that? Brother? We tropical, homie. Ramadan for me right now. I'm bruh. I think the color of people's skin is because of the three, four different human species and interbreeding. That's why there's different shades. Actually, the color of your skin has a lot to do with where did you originate. Like, right. if you grew up around the, the belt of the equator, you most likely had darker skin. You're close to the sun. That, that, you're close to the sun. That's you, science, man. You moved away from the equator, like the North Pole or the South Pole, where it's cold, you had less melanin in your skin. Yeah. See, white people, do, they have melanin. They're not melanin deficient. They're melanin absent. I mean, they're not melanin uh, uh, absent. They're melanin deficient. Right. Yeah. So don't say they don't have melanin. They have melanin. They just melanin deficient. Every living thing has melanin. Right. But we have more melanin to protect us from the direct rays of the sun. Right. We have that neural melanin. Okay, okay. I want you guys' opinion on this. Simply Deep 1985 says, I want you guys' opinion on this. What's your opinion on movies that show men in embarrassing situations that'll get you clowned and how would you handle them in general? Well, you understand who run the music business. You know? Look movie. Talk about a movie. Look at, look at the Not color music movie. Look at the color purple. Yeah. Look at the color purple. Every man in the color purple is old, low down, rotten ass, scoundrel ass, no good for nothing ass nigga. Because, you know, that's what sells that's their to agenda. this day. Yeah. This, that's what sells to this day to the masses. See, we be just basic stuff. Hold up, stuff. hold up. And tell them, that's the agenda they push too, right? For sure. I'm going to get to that. Right. What, what, what we got to realize here in America, man, we are the minority in America. We make up like, what, 13%. So we can't think that our viewing is the majority. Right. The majority is them. So that's why those type of movies do exist. so well. Exist. And exactly. they exist is because that's what they want to, that's what they want to show. They want to gloat in and, and uh, profit off of our shortcomings and right. our downfall and the bad things with us. You notice the good movies that we do, it be right at that moment and then you don't see it no more. You got to go get it on Let me see. Was that a true story BG Netflix. rapped about on Checkmate? He used to be a man? I don't know. I can't see that. You do. But, uh, yeah. So that's, that's it's all part of the agenda, man. The, mm-hmm. good stuff, the good stuff don't sell, man. And you know, 30 people got arrested on solicitation of prostitution in uh, Dallas, right? Mm-hmm. This um, Bill, uh, <laughs> uh, Bill Cosby show, what it is? Um, what's the old school show? What? Uh, the Cosby show, right? Yeah. So the Cosby show, that stuff was still running, 2020s. Yeah. Right? So still running. They had to do something to, to shut that down, man. No, they, they lost to, sleeping. They no, had they to lost. stop that. So they had to put Cosby, the real Bill Cosby, into a bad light just to stop that show from running. Simply Deep, 1985, says, thanks for asking the question. It also depends on the embarrassing situation as well. Man, listen, we cannot let the, the media or other people pay our narrative of who we are. That's right. Because although we want to sing Kumbaya with everybody, everybody don't feel the same way about us. We got to be on code. We always talk about that. That's right. You got to be on the saying? same page, man. We always talk about that. You dig? 
Oh, they did copy wrong. I saw it coming too. Well, see, but that's what they do. Go and tell Pro, y'all didn't know, man. That was a paper written by by, by Hoover to, to, to discredit anybody that uplift the black community by, right. by the media. That right. ever that, that even and that, that shine still goes on a little to this light day. on the greatness that we are, that some of us are. You know what I'm saying? Big so fun. you got to think about when you look at the Cosby Show. It was it was big. It had the the doctor. Um, the, the mom was a the lawyer. Mom was a lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. Good grades in school. Good college student. Yeah, it's college. You know what I'm saying? J5O posted, I seen a video the other day where they showed how they still have places in America where there's no black people for miles. Well, that's good. I don't ever want to go there. Huh, bro? They food ain't got no flavor. Right. Mike Davis say, black people are really originated on all seven Mike continents. And all seven continents. This is a fact. Please do the research. No animal on earth originate in all, in all in everywhere in the world. Think about that. Come on, man. No animal on earth originated everywhere. Put it like this. Like a kangaroo didn't, didn't originate in Montana. An ostrich ain't originated in America. You know what I'm saying? All animals on earth originated somewhere. What makes you any different? You're just a higher animal. You're still a mammal, bro. You're still a mammal. Yes. Come on, man. Gula Hudu said, what was Jesus doing the transatlantic and sub-Saharan slave trade? He was nowhere to be found during the Charleston Nine, Katrina, Rosewood, Black Wall Street, Jim Crow, Apartheid, ETC. And you know what Gullah who do? You're right. But you know what niggas will do? I make I, excuses. You know what? I sit back and roll me blunt. I just hit it. I just look back and look at the excuses. Yeah. And I'll I, I be like, look at the excuses. Jesus. What's up, Lil Trey? You said, right, when you were still in the funeral? Yeah. I said, look at the excuses these niggas make. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Here's an example of a certain area. Simply Deep 1985 <laughs> said, somebody stumbles upon you and your significant other at the wrong time in some secluded area. Okay, what happened? Cosby Show, Family Matters, A Different World, ETC. Right, Jay? Feed Up says, what y'all think about Uncle Luke of Two Live Crew said he did it by, uh, by the hand, hand that feed him. He, try, he trying to buck the system after they made him rich. I don't know. I bro. don't know, bro. It could be. But no, I, I, I seen the video the other day. Like that. Mike Tyson, he tried to grab Mike Tyson's ass. Mike Tyson grabbed his hand and moved that bitch. That was an Arsenio should know that was Kenan Ivory Wayne. Yeah. Mike Tyson actually moved his hand. hand. I think it's that. But we said that though. Yeah. We said, said that already. Yeah. We said that last week. Gotta I was joking, the show. saying yeah. stuff like he, he get he ain't pay his bill. Man, we said when you lay in bed with him, yeah. you have to get up with him. You lay down with a dog, you wake up with flea. Go next to the way game go, man. Yeah, facts. You said cool it, bro, man. You can't get up my nigga BG, man. Listen, bro, nigga, I get that BGPO or get a lawyer and be like, man, but I'm gonna sue you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna violate my goddamn rights because yeah. how I'm gonna make money? You stop me from making money and feed my family, man. For real. Oh. Show your ass up, bro. Bro, you know, you know what we gotta do, bro. Somebody gotta take it, take a chance to be like, fuck it, I'm going on the limb. They're gonna kill me, they're gonna you know, they're gonna persecute me. I'm gonna lose all my money. I'm gonna flip the pan in this bitch. I'm about, I'm about to flip the pan. Somebody gotta flip the pan. Yeah. Flip the pan. You got that that cost sacrifice. Yeah. yeah. You gotta, somebody fuck gotta sacrifice, that. man. Fuck that. Instead of being sacrificial, be the sacrifice. Cause you know, G2 freedom, freedom coming with the freedom coming out bloodshed. Man, they ain't gonna take one of their kids like Jason. Man. J2K2 saying about the Anunnaki. I already said what I feel about the Anunnaki, angels, Elohim, Nephilim, angels, uh, Alibaba, they still ain't Jehovah. Us, and ain't never about intervening in black people's hardship and our struggles and, 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 and the disrespect of our ancestors. The only people intervening in our struggles is us, man. I go for any one of them. I don't care. The only ones intervening in our struggles is us. So we got to just, we got to claim our people, man. Yeah. Stop claiming this shit out, 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 of, out of pocket. Y'all waiting on the sky, daddy, and you know all this saying? shit, man. We our own citizens, man. That's not here. Wake that up. didn't come help us, and it, we, it's known that we only helped our damn selves, man. Mm -hmm. Think about this, bro. If you died, and you had any kind of power, and you watching your son come up, your grandson, your great-grandson come up, and you see something getting fucked up happening to them, wouldn't you do something to save them or help them if you loved them? No matter what they did wrong. Think about the love of God, which is omnipotent, which is unwavering. Think about that. See, man, it's so deep. I, I want to get into it, but I don't, I don't run no people out. You got 134 on a Monday. I don't want to do that. Bro. Okay, Mark said, True M11 said, we got to get back. We got to back them up, dude, and just don't stand and watch. Yeah, we got to back yeah, this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I made this video. Who yeah. It'll, it'll, it'll spark it'll somebody. Somebody just start a, 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 a petition, an online petition or something, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Man. God damn. Big down play. What's up, Greg B? They wait for somebody to come save us. That's not the answer. We got each other here on the earth to lean on. 
Southern University just beat LSU in baseball, man, tonight, Shout man. Shout out to Southern University. 12-7, man. Oh, did Whoa, they did man. see that the first time he came home? Did they tell him he couldn't rap and go do business with Southern? Say feed up. We some street niggas. You know exactly what we meant. We say flip the pan. Man, we gonna flip the pan, bro. That's when niggas just drop their nuts and say, man, fuck with that bother him, but I'm about to flip this bitch and flip that fist for real. Yeah, like, see, they talk shit about, about they talk shit about the twins, right? Like, that's gonna bring every, everybody gonna say, oh yeah. Niggas serious. They talk shit about the twins, man. right? But man. I swear on everything I do, I swear on my children and my mama may drop dead where she at right now. I didn't told the police before, turn around, grab my dick and say, suck my dick. Before I jet it out on your mom got the drugs. That's what I did. That type of shit. So I ain't scared. Of, I ain't scared of no police. I ain't scared of no clan. I ain't scared of no skinheads. None yeah. of that. Jay, Jay, I bumped up to ninety percent. I'm almost there. I'm working, bro. I'm working on it. You did? Know? I ain't there yet, but I'm working on it. Y'all working on it, bro? Mm -hmm. I'm working on it. Free C Miller, man. Fuck the system. Yeah, man. old Paris shit. H O D. Be read TV. You know what I mean when niggas say flip the pan? That's when you get real disrespectful. You know you flip the pan. It's about to go down. Ain't no talking going on after that. He said, thanks for your observations. How long y'all been doing YouTube content and what inspired y'all? Man, we've been trying to set our channel up a long Boy. time ago. Mm -hmm. We've been trying to set our channel up, but nobody will help us. Yeah. Like, we didn't know how to work with no mics. We didn't know how to film. We didn't know how to edit. We, yeah, we didn't know nothing about we didn't it. Have a nothing, backdrop. Not, nothing. But the people in this room right here helped us, helped us build our channel. Some people that bought us mics, yeah. paid for the backdrop. They yeah. sent us donations every now and then. Somebody gonna send us some headphones soon. So, hey, man, all that shit just been, you know, look, my nigga rock. He really, he, he really don't like really being on camera and, you know, kind of like, we kind of persuaded him and asking him and kept yeah. telling him that the shit we talking about is shit we talk about all the time. Yeah, yeah right. all us together. Amongst right. each other, you know what I'm saying? All mm -hmm. we doing is put it in front of y'all and yeah. let y'all conversate with us too and see where we come from and how we be talking, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's all it is. That since we talking shit about the twins, them clowns ain't even ringing the line while I'm winning time. Oh, man, I, I'm in Houston, whoa. Cold and Bible, uh, Bible verse, game ever spit. Don't lean on your own understanding. Chop. You right about that? Don't lean on my own understanding. You just right up. You right about that? Okay. That's the coldest that the coldest Bible verse ever spit. You believe that shit? You did. Hold up. What I mean by that, an example is that you and your and your other were doing something indecent at an area and other than your house, and somebody saw the act. They better mind their business. Like David said, it did. He, he um, he li hey, listen. Puff Daddy wasn't trying to touch Mike ass. That was misinformation. Puff Daddy was clearly trying to grab Mike Tyson watch. It was his blatantly grab at his watch. Come on, Steve. Well, all I know is Mike Tyson moved his ass out of the way and pushed his hand away. Yeah, That's what he did. Away. That's what I saw. I know a nigga might have saw, but everybody off that man, scene. Listen, Mike Tyson on. moved his ass to the other side of the sofa, man. Hold up. He put it. He put himself in front of his ass. Hold up. We, we got to stop ignoring the fucking signs. Come on, man. Signs, we ain't going to do it like that, man. We got to stop, stop ignoring that, bro. Like, he just did, like, he just straight up, like, this man ain't fancy, bro. Yeah, Gregory Pepper, 140 in this hole. Yeah, yeah, but we got 107 on. Oh, that means 40 of y'all just looking like, man, I don't like them old bitch ass niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna listen to them. I'm gonna joke with them, but I don't like them. Them niggas in that barbershop in San Francisco. That's cool. That's cool. That's that is. Shout, shout out to y'all in that St. Bernard barbershop. See, that's the see, brother. See, nah, rock, bro. See, you to piss me off a little bit. Fuck bro. all that, man. Because you didn't tell me it was a St. Bernard prayer. Y'all let me know where that's at. So when I go out of town, I know exactly where I'm at. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. find out, dog. Don't worry. We'll tell you, and I don't lie. That's cool, bro. I thought that was cool in St. Bernard prayer with the home in the St. Bernard prayer, I know. Boy, I'm gonna really be mad if y'all can't can't cut hair good, man. Man, that's that cool. Y'all know about about rapper Boston George out there? I've been checking him out. Well, Boston George, I ain't never heard of him. Cause we talking shit about the twins. Them clowns ain't even ring the line while in town. We was dipping, bro. We're moving too fast, bro. Three important in the building. What's up, Mike? You did. You see, Rock, I fire you in with the Clippers. So you got any uh, Master P fans? Master P stories, I'm a fan of No Limit. Shout out to No Limit. You got man. a gang of them. Y'all got a gang of them. Yeah. Man, look. Man. They're the young man in Jacksonville, but that man killed I his... I gotta tell you stories of P and... and um, what his name is? That big thing? He used to be in the street. Who? I forget. Oh, Jay Prince? Yeah. Took away them days. Y'all seen Lincoln Beach, dog? Lincoln Beach is open, fool. It is? Did y'all see it for Easter? No. There are a lot of Mexicans out there, but it was it's open, dog. 
Like, my niggas bitches. Yeah, like man. Shut up. Yeah, man. That's such a good thing, man. That's a good thing. Bro, I'm glad that's... Beaches where the black people went at the punch and train beaches for white folks. Yeah. Lincoln beaches for black folks. See, a lot of people didn't know that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And my mom and them told me, nah, white black people couldn't go to Lincoln Beach when they was little girls and shit. Mm-hmm. That boy, uh, Q Joe said, did the ex bodyguard Gene Dill telling a lot? YouTube him. Man, tell some wild dinner stories. He was he was present that. Q Joe, you late. knew about yeah. You late. We didn't know about Gene Dill, but he, to me, he seemed like a disgruntled employee too. Yeah, man. He telling a lot of truth, but he just seemed like a disgruntled. I'll take the stand. Why would you do that? The man paid you that one time. Mike Davis said this here. Mike Davis said one thing I'm not gonna do is because Puff Daddy a charge he didn't do. Come on, man. It's different. Pull out everything. Just want Puff Daddy to be guilty of everything. Saying shit is not there. Hold up, bro. Being a punk is not a crime. That's right. Okay. He could be. He could. He could be great. He could do that all he wants. It's not a crime. Being an asshole. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's not the point I'm making. We talking, about, we talking about the gay shit. Okay. About yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Right. If that's what he is, that's what he is, bro. That's not. That's not. That's not uh, criminalizing him. If that's what he is. Ain't nobody be lying about no man giving him no head, bro. Nobody man. gonna lie about no straight man giving him no head. Nobody bro. gonna lie about that. Giving him a straight man, bro. That, that don't. That just don't go like. That just be realistic, dog. You know, it don't go like that, bro. Uh, Stir Bird Pocket said Angola Wade, which is worse in Louisiana. Well, Wade well, is worse. Wade is worse because people, you leave Angola, they ship you to Wade if you like it. Wade is a disciplinary camp. Yeah, disciplinary. <laughs> Barbara Brennan said, "Hey Rock, I tell niggas who could who cut here if you use that black spray." You can't cut. Don't tell me you use that black man. That wasn't even out when I was cutting hair, bro. How you doing? How you had that right there? So bro. I, I, I wasn't using none. I'm bro. <laughs> Hell no. Nah, real. Uh, 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 Be Read TV say real. All need to come together as a whole, like before segregation. I'm pushing for that. Man, if you ask anybody that acts a twin, we be like, we for unity, dog. Yeah. All projects, all gangsters, all hoods, but we got Jesus podcasters, us, rappers. Man. We got Jesus bit for us. Yeah. That's right. We'll, we'll take this shit over. We'll man. take it over. We'll take it over. Uh, uh, J J five hundred four four says Cotton Porter Tallulah the worst. I couldn't tell you about those two camps right there. All right, this is what I do know about Tallulah though. Let me have some big old knives on Tallulah. Cotton Porter, I heard they got you know they, they boxing to wear regular clothes. Cotton Porter a little bit more laid back. I think it's Cotton Porter like more like a satellite camp. Mm-hmm. But Tallulah, he said the boy got a big old long blade more. Yeah, Tallulah, Tallulah bad, Tallulah. bro. Yeah, Tallulah bad. bad. Look, Tallulah ain't got no clean water. Them boys water brown. Yeah, bro. And Tallulah, I want the world to know that. One hundred thirty two people in here. How many, people, how many people gonna watch this video? Tallulah got horrible living conditions for the inmates in Tallulah. Touch your county with something. Text somebody. Margaret Brennan said, Gene Deal been speaking out about the man since the early 2000s. He was on Tupac documentary. Gene Deal feels the type of way about him. He love his fact that did it fucked up, man. It seems like that to me, too. It, it seems like he kicking the nigga while he down. Mm-hmm. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Man. I, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna do that though. Nigga said, none of them cameras like that no more. Nigga lied to you. They just had that shit last month. But Tallulah had brown water and Tallulah yeah. in, the, in, the, in, the, in the prison, man. Yeah. Dude drinking water out the toilet and shit. Yeah, uh, we just said he did seven years of Tallulah. Man, they can have all that. They can have all that nigga shit. Nigga get mad at me when I tell these little dudes, man, get out the game. You don't want to go there, little brother. <sighs> Why they mad at the twins for that? I don't give a fuck about y'all being mad. I'm just saying I'm trying to make some reason to it. I told y'all what to do when niggas booting you up. Right? I told you what OG told me. Look, twin, niggas booting you up and looking all these niggas. Grab your dick on them as hard as you can. Look the other way. But he's still looking in your face. He's a punk. He said, did it fire Gene Deal, so he's probably holding the grudge. Man, he been fired. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That man's telling his stories, bro. Yeah. You dig? Yeah. Uh, See, uh, J504 doing? said, they sent everyone around the city and JP either cotton port or platinum. Y'all know Diddy had people sign it, who worked for him sign these down. Um, Disclosure where they can't talk about nothing that goes what on. They call, they call that something. Uh, yeah, see, this is something else yeah, they call see, it. This do. Is something else they call it, too. Man, I could be around that kind of shit, though, bro. Yeah. I'm too real for that, bro. Oh, so you did? Probably had a statue of limitations. What's up, Dufal? Wipe your feet he when you come in. Did it for X amount of years. Now he can talk about this when he wants Man, to. I just say, damn, I did it, bro. I say, bro, I like being around and having fun, popping bottles and shit, bro. I say, bro, look. Don't invite me in the back back there with that shit. I don't yeah. want that, dog. Yeah. You, 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 you got some brawling and freaking, I'll go take one to the room or something. Let's yeah, look, it. that's what you want to do, but yeah. that's cool. But go look, ahead. Don't you got an NDA, Greg B. Yeah, non-disclosure act. Non-disclosure act. Yeah, that's yeah, what it is. Yeah, you know, let me do me, but I ain't with that shit y'all got up on the back back there, yeah, dog. Man. I ain't going to say nothing, brother. Just don't have no children back there. If y'all want, you know, run around and y'all and want, y'all want sword fight and shit, sword that's all y'all. Shit pack half and half at it. You know, but not me. Take me where the women at, bro. Man. And I ain't talking about, about no transmission either. I'm talking about man, the real one. The real one. Shit. What man. y'all think about 50 clowning his baby mama? Man. What you mean clowning his own baby mama? Man. Because that was 50 baby mama. So that, that Puffy allegedly 
And Stevie J going to let boy hang. Yeah, Stevie J won't fight. Yeah, let's fight, Curtis. That boy mad for real. Looking stupid like a motherfucker. Like he was on that fucking Skeeter when he, had, when he was fucking. Like he, he was on that fucking Skeeter. He them damn boys out there. I'm, I'm team 50, though. I, I like 50. Man, man. Okay, man. I ain't going against 50. I'm a 50 fan. Yeah. I ain't going against 50. I don't care who don't like it. Some allegations against, like, the Stevie making this stuff look real, real stupid. I, safe. I ain't going against 50, though. I fuck with 50. So he don't even know me, but I fuck with 50. Gregory Pep Jr. say, it's safe uptown. Downtown, East murder capital now. East may be the murder capital, but uh, it ain't safe uptown, woke. It ain't safe no fucking world. It ain't boy. safe nowhere boy. in that bitch. It ain't safe. It ain't safe in Shrewsbury. It ain't safe on the West Bank. Ain't safe in Metairie, up Kenner. Appaloosas, Jetman, Bad Road. Ain't safe nowhere. They ain't safe, bro. Dang. I ain't fighting to take no man serious who gets bent over serious. You better take him serious because them niggas kill too. J504, they kill too. And the ones bending, bending them over, I'll kill you behind the one they bending over too. Yeah. Think about what I just told you. Let Dang. it marinate. Yeah. What's up, Tidy? What's up? What's up, Tidy? What's going on? Yeah, he had that lisp. Mm -hmm. You got to pay attention, bro. You got to pay attention. Mm -hmm. Don't believe everything they tell you you listen to, man. If y'all wipe y'all feet when y'all coming to the door, man, like the video, man. The Think Twice podcast, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the young man in Jacksonville, man, I told y'all, he unalived his 12-year-old brother. He, he shot his mother, and he killed himself. He unalived himself. 12 years old. West side of Jacksonville, man. Florida? Damn, bro. Yep. Man, that's so cold, bro. Yep. Yeah. Man, hold up. I seen last week in the news. What y'all know about this year? People in New Orleans. Y'all help me out. Y'all help me out. What's up, Dizzy D? What's happening? What's happening? What's y'all help happening? me out. Y'all help me understand this year. They had a fight on shelf, right? Two dudes were fighting on shelf. Mm -hmm. A female got out, hopped up the car. Boom, smoked the dude. She in jail. Other dude dead. Because on a dude pull off with the, on a, on a dude pull off and let the dude right there, right? Yeah. Yeah. He going to jail too. Man, that's crazy. Oh, bro. man. Hey, y'all wipe y'all feet me all in the throat, man. He said Stevie J ain't like that. I see him and Scrappy fight. They ain't got, they ain't got, they ain't got no hands, man. He ain't, ain't got no dog. Fifty was going to jail. Fifty is the box too. Fifty was going to jail for drugs and guns in the nine. nine Stevie J can't fight, man. man. All you do is eat a pussy. He pussy. Hey, really yeah, good. Michael Collins street pool been wilding lately too. Yeah, they been wilding. That's bro. what I'm saying. Everywhere, everywhere, and then he's ain't sleep. nowhere safe. That's how they get whacked. Thinking they go somewhere and it's safe. Ain't nowhere mm -hmm. safe, man. Niggas be on the wrong safe. type of time. That's what I'm saying. You can't be on the wrong kind of type of time, man. You ain't had it home. I figured that, Jake. That's why I asked y'all in the chat. That was a that was that, was, that was the nigga hoe. Who uh Jocelyn? No, on chef. Oh, that was oh. that was his hoe. Yeah, that was his hoe. Oh, that hoe going to that jail. Was for real. That hoe going to jail. She going to jail to do what time and she going to sing. So what? Pimping. What? Yeah, was dude was dude was fighting a pimp then? Yeah. So I wonder if it was two pimps fighting, man. Probably been two two pimps. Oh wow. She going to jail. She going to tell on you pimping. Yeah, she gonna tell on you, brother. Oh man, oh, oh man. buddy, damn, bro. I see you little woman slinging iron a lot. Out of pep. I don't want to be around no woman at all that want to pick up a gun. Whoa. <laughs> he said, uh, up. the GK Eric five B five will say fifty ain't fit to fight no punk. <laughs> 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 I'm team fifty anyway. I don't give a butterfuck. I like fifty. Hey man, they got that bomb pitches, man. The whole boot is about to be a hot summer. Yeah, I'm gonna be right here in H Town. Shit, yeah, floating down the lazy river in a, in a, in a tube, sipping on the motherfucking uh. I ain't gonna be in the H Town. You gonna be in H Town by yourself? I'm being Honduras. Yeah, some, me. yeah somewhere. I'm gonna be I ain't gonna be. In, what I'm trying. The point was, man, I ain't gonna be in the boot. Man, man, that's the whole point. Man, we been planning this for about six years now. Everybody ain't done. Everybody got their passport. Your damn life. I've been having my passport. I got my passport. I've been having on, my passport. I, that's why I be gone. Shit. Watch, watch this summer right watch here. Watch this summer right here. Watch this summer right here. We're going to be, look, we're going to be filming this. summer almost over. In, in Dominican Republic somewhere, bro. We're going to be filming this year. We're going to be filming like over there on the beach. Okay, we're going to see. Yeah, we're going to see. I'm telling you how we're going to blow up. Man, what's All up, bro? Right. What's up, man? Y'all hear this, right? Y'all go follow me on Instagram. What's up? You hear me? Y'all go see me gone. <laughs> Man, okay, put in my pay. I'm all in my Honduras. I'm all. I'm all I'm in just, Bamboo bro, Creek. I'm, I'm all saying, over, man. This summer they gonna be like, what the twins? At? Man, they gonna be right there. <laughs> Y'all gonna see, bro. Y'all gonna see. Shit, boy. See, cause I ain't got no, but I got gotta bring with me. Yeah, no. I think Diddy case gonna open up a lot more cases in the music industry. Man, I hope it do. Well, you know what, bro? If it is, bring some of them white folks down too. Here. That's what I said, bro. Fine. That's what I said. Yeah, man. That's why I say, man, it's a dirty game. You know, yeah. you play dirty with me. I ain't got yeah. no power. I can't go to war with you. I can't kill you. 
J504. Let me, let me clear that up, though, because you say everybody totally concealed now. Shit about to be crazy. If you are under 21 years old, you cannot conceal a handgun, bro. You can conceal a, a rifle. You can open is, carry or conceal a rifle. The thing is, you have to legally be able to purchase that weapon to conceal it. Yeah. You cannot legally purchase a handgun if you're under 21 years old. You understand? Don't misinterpret that law and get people locked up, man. Y'all two ain't gonna split up. We're gonna talk next year. We just split up buku times, boy. For real. Just ask me, I'll tell you. Yeah. Out of pack, but New Orleans, like Gotham City, is like the alarm and the purge on the loop. It's not. Because you cannot. Listen to what I'm saying again. I, you cannot have, you cannot open carry a handgun if you're under 21 years old. They made at 18 that you can that you can carry a rifle now. You can legally buy a rifle. I, I know the law. We talked about we had a show on it. No, they you can do the handgun too. Well, somebody had to gift it to you, right? Oh yeah, you can't buy it. You, you can't, can't buy it. it. So you how you gonna buy just, just you, get you? You think you cool because you you 18? No, that gun got to be legal. So they gonna yours. roll up on you. If you 18 years old, they're gonna see if they somebody gift you that gun. Yeah, and, and gift you that gun is just like your mom or your daddy giving that bitch to you. They're gonna be responsible. For anything that go on with that gun, you got to think who gonna actually give somebody a gun? It can't be your old lady or your cousin or something. You know, out here in Texas, they they don't even if you like you got a gun and it's not registered to you. I read the law, you bro. Know they can't take your gun. From they you. said they that you can that openly gun. carry at oh, eighteen years stolen. old now, but that's what you can legally buy, right? Not a handgun. Not a handgun. I not, read the law. You know what they gonna tell you? Well, if you don't know the law, that's on you. They gonna lock your ass. They gonna lock up. you up. If you if you do have carry a handgun. Somebody has to gift it to you. That's it. Because you can't buy it until you're 21. So if you got any old gun on you think you can carry it because you're 18, watch what happens. Watch how many niggas go to jail thinking that because they're 18, they can carry a gun. And then guess what? A handgun. Ain't no parole. No parole. So if you're a convicted felon, they give you 15 years. Guess how many, guess how many years you're going to do? You do the math. All of them. Texas, that's why Charles be talking, talking this shit. Where yeah. I believe. Man, Charles and White are small motherfuckers. Texas got the leanest, leanest. Gun, gun laws in, in, the, in the whole. That's country. why I love it here. That's why I love it here. Yeah, they I'm talking really about the avenue of law enforcement. You got the right to bear arms, and they don't give a damn. Man, look, they catch you in Texas right. with a gun. As long as that bitch ain't stolen, they're going to get that bitch back, back to you. They don't give a damn. They don't give a damn out here. Yeah. Somebody too close to their mic, that bitch loud. It's cracking. Yeah, that probably be that. Oh, they that they got our pistols sound. anyway. They got AR pistols anyway. That's Even though those, those AR pistols, yeah, they, they can legally, they can carry that if they're 18. Canada, yeah. They can carry that openly. Put their strap on and carry it openly. I'm glad y'all brought this up. I can see it. I said, y'all want to talk about that? Let's get on this year. Because y'all want to let them say, they got Dracos, they got this, they got that. Ask, answer me this. Why the niggas will kill any nigga for anything, but they're scared to really go against the, the real enemy? But well, hold up. Let's talk about that. But well, hold on. What that, what that's magazines and stuff. You know they still got the law for the magazine. Many bullets. Yeah. See, that's what they forget. You yeah, can walk around with these guns with 30 rounds on you, you're going to gonna get arrested for that. Yeah. And they can be walking around, oh, they got a switch on the gun, so he don't even know. That boy in Georgia, yeah, cool. in Georgia, 18 year old can legally carry a handgun. He found it out the hallway. You can carry, legally carry a handgun, it has to be gifted to you, is what we're saying. You can't buy it. You can't buy it. So it's stipulations in that that's law. A that's what we're trying law. to tell you. We, we, we tell you what that's the, the trick bag. Is. That's the trick bag. You can't legally buy it. And if you do have it, Somebody has to gift, gift it, it to you. you. you so that means, that. in retrospect, that person that gifted that gun to you, they're responsible for that gun. You got to think about how many people going to ask to gift you a gun if you're irresponsible. Straight like that. They're going to make you responsible for that shit. It that's what the whole catch is. It's a constitutional right. It, that's not just now. What it is is it's still a national um, uh, law that you can't buy a, a, a handgun. Unless you're 21 years old. Of course. That's anywhere in the United States. That's yep. a national law. You cannot buy a handgun that's unless you're 21 law. years old. So if you think, that's what I'm saying. What I'm trying to get them to understand is, if you think because the law passed that you can carry a gun when you're 18 and that gun ain't good or legal, they're going to slam your stupid ass. That's what they're going to do Straight to Straight like that. Now, they're going to uh, slam you. Out of Pappy said they pulled me over in Deep Ilum, which is in Dallas, mm -hmm. with a fart in my waist. Ran numbers and gave it right back. See, bro, in Texas, they, they kicked my pot in the dope. They ran in there with a, he had a gun in there with a serial number straight up that bitch. That's one of the things I love. That was the day when he left. Give it, it back to him. and left. And left. Yeah. It goes down like that. They don't, they, they cannot take your guns out here like that, bro. Yeah, it's like, 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 I said, bro, listen, everywhere I go in Texas, bro, even when I'm in New Orleans, especially since they passed the concealer law, I got mine with me, bro. 
Oh, what do you say, man? What's up with no jumper coming out with a gay sex tape? Hey, bro, man, none of that don't surprise me about them dudes, All them man. dudes be booted banners under yeah, cover little snuff buckets hanging all over, man. About it. Yeah, they ain't I don't be thinking them dudes no real hood dudes. They don't come from nothing we bro. come from, man. What you expect for them dudes to do, do, do nothing else but be duping chasers and shit? Yeah. Ain't nobody else not surprised. Yeah, I know y'all surprised, yeah, know y'all surprised bro. bro. What's the big deal? Anytime a man can sit there and let, 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 let another man drill his wife and laugh about it, yeah, he'll you do ain't, anything. You ain't no man, bro. He'll do anything. You want to get drilled, too. Yeah. You want some of that, too. What's up, Eric? What's happening, bro? What's up, e? So I'm telling y'all, but don't be stupid like just thinking, shot, man. Shot, just thinking just because. No, we we'll take, we'll take one shot. We're going to take one shot. We're going to take one shot. Y'all put y'all ones in the chat, man. We got one thirty one in here, man. They're pouring real Tito's in this shit. Man, they're crazy. Yeah, we from, we from Louisiana, man. You don't play no, you don't put no fake You got to say we from the all, because you from Louisiana. No, I'm saying. They be throwing that little dance in the street. I'm saying they all drink. We all drink from Louisiana. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody from Louisiana, drink. We don't play no, play no fake shots. Come boy. on, man. Put y'all ones in the chat. One of got three ones in the chat. 126 people in you. Come on, man. What y'all doing, bro? Eric, just come in here and got his shot ready. The dude better get the transmission for real, like for real. In the closet. They in the closet. They out. Hey. Put y'all ones in the chat, man. Come on, hey. man. Take a shot with us, man. Yeah. Hey. Red J. P. Noli. Yeah, man. Come on, man. Everybody, yeah, we in this joint now, Jack. We ain't getting up. Come on, man. Put them ones in there. Yeah. Come on with it. Y'all better be taking y'all shots. Don't you put no ones in there like y'all ain't shit taking no shot now. Yeah, they just bucking y'all up right yeah, they now. They just bucking nigga up. We, we gonna take ours, But bro. don't trip me with no good time. Nah, don't trip me with no good time. I'm taking yeah, mine. Don't trip me with no good shots. time, Eric. I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah. Three times with a third. Jay say drink champ. Them boys, stay on them shots. Uh, what's up, Janisha? What's happening? What's happening? That boy said, you from Met Metairie, Kenner, not New Orleans. I'm bruh. All I'm saying is, we, don't, we ain't playing with no shots. Come out drinking alcohol. That's what we do. Yeah, we take, we take, we take them ones. That's what we do. Oh, Bill, big to see on that Tito's, too. That's my shit. That boy said, every chipmunk is on that great goose like it's 2004, for real. But we just love that great goose, mm -hmm. boy. Say, Chris, I got my alkaline water, too, bro. Oh, yeah, where my water at, I got man? my alkaline water, too. Where my water at, man? You know why I drink alkaline water, bro? Dr. Saber said, he taught us that uh, mucus is the main thing that makes you sick. And they can't survive. And, and mucus cannot survive in an alkaline environment. So I try my best to put alkaline into my body and eat alkaline fruits and no. You need to talk oh. about for real eight ball day. What you know about that eight Ike, ball, Janisha? Ike Wilson said, y'all wrong. The Louisiana DA came with the charges. This Las Vegas PO we, was cool. We figured it was Louisiana. That's where he took them to. No, we didn't say it. We didn't say the one. In, we said the one in Louisiana was wrong. But we oh, say it's PO. The, the we have, well, yeah, right. the PO. Oh, right. Well, yeah, the yeah, PO. Well, uh, uh, yeah, we apologize to the PO then. All right, the PO is the DA. My bad. See, I can be corrected, bro. I ain't got no problem with it. I ain't got no problem with it. Thanks for the info. Thanks, but yeah. the point we were making was the authority on that. It's a hoe. It's a hoe. Whoever the authority yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Red, 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 pussy. The authority on that man case is handling that, that's trying yeah. to get him locked up for trying to feed his family, is a dick sucker. That's what he's saying. All things popping TV say Sabin was a pseudo. Well, let me just tell you something about Sabin being, Sabin being a pseudo. No, he wasn't, dog. When I went to his village, me and him personally went to his village in Honduras. For a month. We witnessed people coming in there, drinking the alkaline water, and healed it. People that couldn't walk was walking before they left that village. People had sores on their feet. And shit was healing up. He was healing up. Yes. He, he was not a pseudo, So dog. you say what you want. Everything, he not been right on everything. I ain't going to say that. But he wasn't pseudo. I went there myself. Yeah. And I seen for myself people coming there like this older dude from Georgia. So you know what that's called? That's called a primary source. I'm a primary source. Yeah. I'm a yeah, if he was pseudo, why they kill him? Exactly. Thank you. That's a good, that's a good question, bro. He said, how do he's on federal probation? State shouldn't have anything to do with it. Because the state he got caught in was in, was in Louisiana. Was in Louisiana. Louisiana. Yeah, I caught That's Louisiana. why. Mm -hmm. That's the halfway house was in Arizona, Vegas, wherever that was at. Tenth Hour Talk said that also reinforcing that stop and frisk law along with that open carry law. Exactly. Because that's what that means, young gunner. That's what I'm trying to that's tell you. What yep. trying that's what we said. It's, it's, it's a trick bag. It's a trick bag. It's a trick bag. Mm -hmm. It's a trick bag. And then they got rid of parole, so you're going to do all your time. You and know? most of these little young cats already got charges already. Yeah. Gun charges at that. Salute to the ancestors of Himalaya, Africa. What did y'all say y'all saw? <laughs> they had a dude that came in there from Georgia. 
His son was already there. We had kicked it with his son for like two weeks. His son was just going in there just to just to cleanse his body and heal. But his dad had something uh, wrong with his back. He couldn't even stand up. He couldn't really stand up. He couldn't stand up for long. He had to sit down and shit. And after he had been there, got the treatment, and had the alkaline diet, that man, running, around that around that bitch. running around that bitch, running around around the compound. You dig? Mm -hmm. Hey, wife for God, big trick bag. Yeah, it's a trick bag, man. Yeah. Hey. New Orleans got nigga rocking camouflage all the way up north in Memphis. I lived in Memphis, dog. I love Memphis, bro. Yep. I lived in Memphis, bro. Yeah, I love, I love Memphis, bro. Memphis. Yo, said nigga was jumping me because I was out the city in Baton Rouge trying to tell you. Yeah, nigga, I told y'all them niggas to jump you, boy. The wife of a guy said, big trick bag. My little partner went to jail for smoking like four of them. And the whole cult. Yeah, okay, so you must be young. Niggas died in OPP. Real shit. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 504 said, no parole, no good time. Manage your 85%, you have to do nothing. Man, listen, that's why I stay out of places where motherfuckers gonna please, please gonna run up on me and pass me. Wait, no good times, you gotta do 100% then, right? Man, man, my shit be straight, so I'm saying no manager, no good times. No nope. shit. None of that shit. Uh, uh, well, man, listen, I was on Bourbon Canal last night, bro. It's hell. Drug users, sellers, freaks, sex workers, knucklehead teens. Ain't never been this wild and bust open. I ain't been on Bourbon in a while. Yeah, I know what I'm about. I about that now. shit. It be pimping Damn. hard, too, man. The news wave pimping, though. You know? Uh, uh, all things Papa TV said there's plenty of people online who got sick and doctor on their debunking them. Primary source. Well, were they there? I was there. How can we, how can it be a better primary source than somebody actually flew out there and was in the village? How I was it, there. Yeah, so I don't understand. Like, I was there for like a month. To my people online. Who are they compared to us that went to the village? Well, look, man, that's, look, I'll tell you what, bro. Look, that's their opinion. And they, 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 they entitled to that. If you ask me, I would say, man, the shit that man was teaching was real, bro. Yeah. It was real, bro. Yeah. It was real. And they're not going to kill that man for nothing. Unalive him for nothing. I'm going to agree with everything he said. Of course not. But that alkaline diet, man, it don't, don't it make sense? You all what you put into your body, bro. I mean, you got to be a doctor to know that. If you got and common sense. Mucus is the cause of a lot of infections. It worked for me. Pus, mucus, uh, 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 phlegm, it's, it's the cause of a lot of infection, bro. You did? Feed up. There's a rally at the state capitol for people against the 85% law. People will, will be protesting, I think, is on the 8th of April. That'll be gangster. Well, I hope niggas left there and say, you know what? I ain't going to jail. I'm going out like uh, like an outlaw. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Stop going. If you know you're going to get, you ain't never coming home, make it count, man. Mm -hmm. Make it count. And I ain't telling nobody to be no terrorist. I'm just saying, use your mind. They got to stop. You always you They got to stop uh, villainizing our, <coughs> um, our black entertainers, uh, criminalizing them for, for the music. You know what I'm saying? See, what they're doing is they're taking the music and making these guys out criminals. Then when they do get in some trouble, they try to lock them into that stuff. Hey, boy, see, do y'all drink milk? See, bro, I had stopped drinking milk for like two no. months, and I bought some milk today. But I had stopped drinking milk for like Tell two months. Tell them what months. happened today, bro. We was in Walmart. This dude trying to get me to buy some almond milk, Rasheen. So, man, that shit tastes like, uh, taste like powder milk. No, I asked him he wanted for cereal. I guarantee him the milk by itself tastes like it's been in cereal already. If you want some of this on the face, not really. It ain't that sweet. Man, I, I don't want to drink no, that. No, not man. that sweet. Depending on what type of cereal you had, like if you had, but I got, uh, I got healthy you had cereal. cereal. Yeah, I got healthy so cereal. So it tastes like you had them in cereal. Janisha, what the was we were talking not about really. earlier? You told me she wanted to ask on the show, Janisha. Out of pappy, did it go into remission? You told me out of pappy. I haven't had. What's up, Hash Bash? What it do, pimp? What's up, Hash? Salute, oh, salute, milk. my G. Lord, man, it's been shit. I don't know. When the last time I had it? Man, we're a blue alien right now. That blue alien right now. Yeah, we tried to see the pits before. Yeah, it is that, this is that blue alien. Yeah. Come on, you see, garlic, almond bro. milk is feed to get the right one. We got garlic, bro. We having all type of exotic. Yeah. We in Texas, man. We in Texas, know? man. The border right there. Yeah. We, we, man, we look, we laid on the street. people here. All of us healthy and, and skin glowing and... You know what I'm saying? We thick as no shit. Milk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they ain't stretched out and face all sucked in and dirty no, and shit. Man. We we straight over here. Yeah, we man. We good on this end. Hey, yeah. yeah, Steve ain't got no scuffle, man. Ain't got no scuffle. We better play that fucking guitar, play a piano or something. Fit the been fighting niggas. The niggas fit the been knocking niggas out on the block. Fifty box. Hey, any box. Chill out, Steve. Team fifty over here, man. Yeah, we living out here, hats. Mm -hmm. We living out here, man. You know, we all right. I'm gonna try some different type of milk because I like cinnamon. I need to. You're right though, Jay. We don't need to be drinking milk though. Milk ain't number pus and 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 yeah, it's not good for us, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it real. I was on them today. 
I ain't gonna lie to you. What your niece say, Kareem? He has a friend. You oh, gotta you see about? your friend getting that shit and just tell him if that's you know what's up. If he still get it, there you, there you go. Yeah. Fuck it. I told your motherfucking ass when you be up here sick. Talking about some. Yeah. But I'm barely sick though. Man. I don't get really get sick. I only go to the hospital. I never spent the night in the hospital. I never had an IV in my arm. None of that shit. Yeah. I don't even know what it feel like. Cause we talked about women submitting, but y'all did a lot about that. Yeah, we talked about women submitting. And Submit to the right man, to the right man. Thank you, DB. Hit my line you. when y'all done, please. Say, uh, all right, I got, I think you got the same numbers in my phone. Oh, Picture up, Hankin. Surely. G5 was I like titty milk. I don't like titty milk. <laughs> that shit kind of sweet a little bit. And it's bitter. That's how and I it's bitter. Know it yeah. Y'all fuck with Shampoo from Queen's Flip Show? I don't even know who that is, bro. Uh, who you say? Shampoo. I, I ain't never heard that. Yeah. I don't really get sick, really. I don't either. get sick, bro. I don't. I don't really get sick. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes, like when the winter time come, like right when the, when the weather about to change. A cold is a cold. That's different. Yeah, but, but just actually sick. Like I ain't never had a migraine in my life, dog. But that COVID, that COVID is something different, though. Like if people's getting COVID, man, I ain't never got sick. Never took no shot of none of that none shit. Of, none, not nothing there, nothing. I ain't never had a migraine. The worst thing I ever had was a toothache. That bitch, that's serious, dude. That right there, that ain't no joke. Man, my grandfather put a ran his head through a TV. If you eat right, you're not gonna get sick. Is it worse than strep throat with a toothache? Man, sick, bro. See, Ooh. there's nothing you can do for a toothache, bro. You're gonna go to bed with that bitch hurt, you no, wake up with that bitch hurt. If you go to sleep, if you go to sleep. How you gonna go to sleep? Mm-hmm. Well, that bitch thumping like a bass drum thump, like a bass drum thump. Mm-hmm. Shit. Yeah. Oh man. Wow, y'all train with Dr. Saber. You think his wife trains the same? Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody that's related to him probably trains the same well, way. Well, what he did was well, he left a menu. Yeah. And when you go to the village, there's, 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 they, look, they prepare breakfast, lunch, and dinner for you. Mm-hmm. And at nighttime, they bring you your sea moss and your bitters. Yeah. Things like that. There's a nurse that walk around there. You can't bring no potato chips, no meat, none of that shit in there, in the village. And he said, there's a natural cure for toothaches. Well, please, somebody tell me what that fucking Man, what, what it is. What is that? Please, what is it? Help. Man, you can't numb that bitch. You can't take no Motrin, no Tylenol 4s, or nothing. Ali, um... The tenth hour. Oh, okay. See, so because you all were there to witness the healing on site, you actually did what's called the observational method and research. Yeah, yeah. I love the observational method. Can't go wrong with seeing it. I'm telling you, man. They got people that are sweating, man. They had a lady with a sew on the bottom of her foot. Big ass sew. A big old sew, bro. Some kind of herbs, whatever they mixed up, whatever lady was eating this. That shit closed up and her feet went back to normal. I saw it in my own eyes. Smooth. Her skin was smooth on the bottom of my feet. A dude, a man, because he was walking, he was bent over. Ibuprofen 800. I took two of them bitches. They're still like, well, you got to wait for that bitch to kick no, in. you need that ibuprofen and the... Well, first off, you need an antibiotic. I'm sick. First off, let me say nothing that ain't never worked for me. Let me say that. I'm about to give you the combo. Now, bro. hold on. After a while, it wants to kick in. Yeah, I'm talking about whatever bitch gets the bang. Whatever you take is going to take a while. So, man, I don't care nah, what you talking about. I'm about to tell you this. Right la, 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 la. I ain't trying to hear what you talking about. Man, man. that's get you a lead. Ah, ah, no I don't care. When this bitch with a thump and you coming up out here, bitch, that's immediately. Get you a lead. Get you an ibuprofen. And if you just so happen to have an antibody. Take that. Bro, I got antibiotics and ibuprofen right now from the last time I See, bro, I swear on everything I love, bro. You ain't had to leave. Listen, I swear on everything I love. I done had broken bones, my nigga. I done had broken fingers. I had about four broken fingers all together in yep. my life. Yep. I had a broken arm. I had uh, stitches about seven times. I, I had broke. surgery twice. Yep. I had surgery on my eye last year. I had surgery on my foot. The most painful thing I ever had was a broken foot. That's mm-hmm. the most painful thing I ever had next to a toothache. What's what's all no, pulling? I see people saying you was all thing pulling. Thing what's all pulling? Right here. Huh? Huh? This is the most painful thing you can have. A what? third degree burn. Oh. Well, I ain't never had it to I me. Never right had I never that. had that. Yeah. Now, I'm telling you, that toothache, though, boy, that bitch would be like, that bitch, something different. get your mother, get up. Bitch. Because it got see. levels to it. It's like it's like your tooth, it's like got a knob in that bitch. And, 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 and the toothache, pain God, turn that bitch up from time to time. You got to find the source of it. That's why I'm telling you. You know what I do sometimes? I'm going to tell you for real. If I can massage a certain part of it, it's like the side of my head, it might ease the pain a little bit. That bitch don't work for me. Yeah, it's kind of like my own acupuncture. That shit really work for me, bro. I'll be suffering. I'll be yeah. suffering. That boy said, that boy said, leave with a toothache? Nah, OG. Nah, I agree with you, Ligma. 
They ain't gonna get it, brother. Yeah, I, it's a combination. It's a coconut oil, this gold No, they keep saying it's coconut oil and this and that and the third. No, None of that shit don't listen, work. Don't and they ain't know that shit don't you work. You have to have it on deck. You have to have the ivory for the uh, information. You need ivory for two things. Never keep it real then, bro. And the, I, all right. Uh, has, what is it, though? For the what is oil pulling, though? I want to know what it is, though. What's oil pulling? What is it, though? Gold and song, that don't work. No, salt water, I tried that. It ain't working. You don't make it worse when it's salt water? Because you know when you do salt water, you ain't going to feel it while you're gargling that salt water. As soon as you spit that salt water in that zinc, it's going to say, wang, yeah. wang. <laughs> it's going to go right back. No. Yeah, I get it, man. That boy said salt water work. I'm telling y'all, we must have a different kind of tooth. Me, I'm going to tell you. What you I done had about? two or three toothaches and salt water ain't never worked. Talking about some gargle with that diagnostician. Burnt the fuck out of my mouth and had my tooth still <laughs> hurting. Waste the damn time. He said, he said, it pulls the DK and inflammation out. That's right. right. Say, brother, y'all not answering the question. What is oil pulling? What is it? What, what do you do? You drink some oil? What, you, what, what, what is, is it? it? What is oil pulling? I don't understand. Clothes didn't work. I tried clothes. It ain't work for me. What do you say? Clothes, oil. Who's the dominant agenda? Men or women? Men. A man should be. A J5. Why, why would a woman want to be the dominant agenda over a man, though? Yeah. If a, if a woman could, 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 could rule a man and, and fucking tell a man what to do, she's not going to be attracted to him. Exactly. She's going to be attracted to me. All pulling this coconut oil. Okay, that's what we was asking. Oh, okay, okay. Coconut oil. Okay. She, she been said that too. Thank you, Queen. You been said yeah. that. Yeah. You got to go for fifteen minutes. Magic bottle from the pharmacy, man. Give me them thirties, man. Now look, hey, Rick, man. Give me them. Give me. Them I'm going to the dentist. I'm saying, man, look, shit been coming out. Up. I done had about three teeth pulled. I got already. a dentist. One fifty, getting it out your mouth. One fifty is coming out there, same day action. So I'm going. We wouldn't be here without women. I'm not saying that we're more important. You actually was most dominant. That doesn't have to do anything about how we get here. That boy said, the warm salt water relax your nerve in your tooth and remove anything by the nerve. Not mine. Not mine. That shit ain't work for me. That bitch, I, 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 I gargled that warm salt water and spit that shit out. About two seconds later, that bitch got turned up to the about 15. Did he say, Rashid is right about the tooth man's combo. I said, turn in my mom was cool with y'all pops. Donald my turn. Oh, for sure, for yeah, sure, for up, sure. Man. Yeah, my dad was in my life a lot, but I remember my dad real good, bro. Mm -hmm. Most definitely, bro. Mm -hmm. It's a small world, bro. That, that's definitely my pops, bro. Yeah. Definitely. He said, 125 and camera crew, come to Lafayette. Believe that. Get yeah, it out. get it out. I ain't lying. All pulling is after the fish fry. Get a little bit oil and oh. gargle it. What? All right. <laughs> after the fish fry? Uh, uh. CJ504, hold up, man, hold up. <laughs> what you talking about, man? <laughs> After the fish fry. See, I could do the uh, coconut oil because I, I, I use that to make the tension and stuff. You know, so that's definitely your that's definitely <laughs> dad. See, see the bunch of Jerome mouth people in here. They got a little bunch of them, bro. Man, that be coming out my mouth, bro. I ain't playing. I just can't take it. I, 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 they coming out. I ain't gonna play with it. The remedies don't work for me. I, I tried everything, boy. I tried clothes. I tried salt water. You didn't try what I said. Bro. I tried coconut oil. I tried uh, gargling Dr. Tissin. My, my home beside this said, Twin, gargle some Dr. Tissin. It's going to work. You know, Dr. Tissin ain't work. My knees out your body. And that shit ain't work. That had my, my mouth burning from the whole nigga. fucking thing. Yeah, number nigga tongue and everything. Yeah, that nigga, no, all nigga tongue got nothing fucking with that shit. That shit too strong for me. Uh, yeah, and right. what the other shit is? When, what the other shit is? Oh, hold up. We're about to get to it now. We got 30 minutes of gangsterism now. Yeah, yeah, hold up. yeah. They said, you right, I said the world is different. What gender is more intelligent and can, and can men live without women? All right, we going to answer that question. We, we got a phone question. call, though. We got a phone call, though. That's a good question right there. Yeah, I like that. It's a good question. I like that. Other, man. I like that. Other, man. Think Twice Podcast. What you talking about, player? What's up, Twins? This is Boss Mo calling from uh, Detroit. What's going What's on, up? Man? What's up, Boss Mo? Can y'all hear good? What's up? You got to, partner. You got to cut him you off. You got to. Real talk. Because nigga be in jail trying to take niggas with him.
Facts. Facts. Shit, but listen, that type of shit right there, you know niggas be in jail too, bust niggas. So I'm not saying your man trying to do that, but if my partner's called talking right, I'm going to hang up on niggas feel how they won't feel about it. Not just that, man. You do what you can. You send them what you can when you can. You, you got a family to take care of. Other shit going on, that's more important. You, you, can't, risk, yeah, you can't risk your livelihood like that, brother. Oh, wow. Yeah, they about to, they about to make an example out dude, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. If we got caught in Virginia, they, they got them, uh, they got them, uh, what they call them laws over there? Man, you they got different kind of laws over there. Like, niggas over there, everybody go to the feds, nigga. They ain't got no state jail for them dudes. Yeah, I heard, I heard. It's the uh, federal state or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you know I ain't lying. Facts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Appreciate you, G, bro. Appreciate you. Salute, my man. All right, brother. Shout out. One. We actually do have a Bluetooth speaker. We just ain't charged, Janisha. We do. We do okay. have one. We just ain't charged the thing. Yeah, yeah, just ain't charged. Caller called in, said he was sent, he was sending his partner. His, his partner caught up a charge, and he, he in jail, and he sent his partner some money every week. And now his partner calling him, talking about he want hustle in jail and all this kind of stuff like this over the phone. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so the guy asked him to cut him off. This is what I say. If you in jail, but don't call me on no fucking phone telling me about no criminal activity off no jailhouse phone, bro. You know what I'm saying? We two streets. We supposed to know better. They supposed to be street smart. I've been beat the streets for so long. I ain't in the streets no more. I'm chilling. I'm laid back. I got to kick my feet up on these bitches. Now you about to call and give me pop like this, yeah? Oh no, partner! Oh man, I'm not doing that. Yeah, DC too. Yeah, all that. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. I ain't know Pennsylvania was a Commonwealth where they send you straight to the feds. Commonwealth law. That's what it is. All things popping TV. G two K two, ENT. He said it's not bad if you got money. Man, it's bad. Man. It's, it's bad. bad man. Don't call me for no jail. Don't call, call me. Ask to me nothing about no criminal. Shit over no jail. What was Jay question again? Jay, ask that question oh, again, he bro. He said, can, "Can men live without women?" No, no, no. We can't live without no. women, but women can't live without men either. So it's not a gender war, bro. That's right. We you know need women, and women need yeah. us. Your, your woman is your equal, but your opposite. She's not behind you. She's not in front of you. She's on the side of you. That's right. That's why when we study African history, go back to you know where our ancestors lived. The woman was venerated because the woman took care of the children. Right. If the children are straight, our nation gonna be straight. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So. It's okay you say, you know, the black woman is God. The black man is God, too. That's right. You understand? Us as a unit together, we, that's, the, that's the real the real trinity. He asks, who is smarter, men or women? I think being intelligent, it takes an individual effort. Yeah, some women are smart, some, some, some men women, are smart. Yeah, women it, is God and women men are God, God's too. Image. Yeah, it's balanced. Yeah. It's balanced, bro. Yeah. You can't see who's smarter. Right, look, it, look, it's like this. Yeah. It's infinity. Yeah. Because when I'm weak, you strong. When I'm strong, you weak. See what I'm saying? I, well, it's not about who's smarter. You might be smarter on some, some yeah. things, and I'm not smarter Tanisha on. Tanisha Joe yeah. said he asked who who is smarter, men or women. And that's what we're asking right now. We're we saying it, me, it, bro, intelligence is, is an individual effort, dude. It has nothing to do with no men or women. Or gender. Or gender. gender. You know what I'm saying? Who? Janisha? Janisha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a female. Yeah. My partner took a, a I-395 I I to D.C., with a legal banger, and the people gave him 14 months with no prior. Yeah, yep. some people, some places you can't go through with no banger, what? Yeah. Yeah, you got to know your, uh, yeah. your, gun, your gun laws. I went to jail uh, in you Nashville with yeah. a legal gun. I went to jail in Nashville with a legal gun. Yeah, you can't. Which is like watch three, four go. days in Nashville uh, jailhouse, man. Janisha, let's, get, let's, let's, let's stay on this stuff. This is the one that's, that's hot right now. Yeah. I think it's balanced, and I may be stronger in certain areas. And I said that. But you men are stronger in certain areas. Yeah, you may be strong in certain areas. I may be strong in some areas. And that's where we need each other. That's where the balance comes in. Yeah. At. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. A woman is really the only thing that's supposed to get my sensitive side up outside of me is a woman. Yeah. Not my homeboy. Not my partner. You the only thing on this earth that they can, I can show my soft side with. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. Come here. Yeah. Girl, stop. Stop acting like that. I can't act like that with my partner. Come that here, be, baby. I'm sorry. Yeah, that'll be gay shit. Yeah. But with a woman, that you know, you don't know how to unlock that. Yeah. And for a man... To unlock your, your submissive side and your feminine side, that's what you need, too. You need that. It's a, it's a yin to your yang. I, so see, it's not a competition about who's smarter or not. Yeah. It's the individual. How many books you read? How well versed in your conversation? 
I think women is the brains and men is the muscle. Well, it depends because some women make decisions based off emotion. Men don't do that. So you can't really say that. Some women can separate their emotions from their thoughts. Some women can't. A man should always separate his thoughts from his emotions. That's the difference. That's the difference. Remember what I said. I think women is the brains. I, don't, I can't really say that. Women mature faster than men. I agree with that. I agree with that. I do. I agree with that. They said two sets of eyes are better than one. Same thing with daughters when they bring out that sulfur side. I got two. Facts. Right. Mm -hmm. And I say a female, especially a woman, like now a baby. You know, a baby supposed to bring out your soft side as a man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not another man. That's right. You see what I'm saying? That's right. A woman, that's what a woman is capable of. We gotta understand that. What's your thoughts on the masculine woman? Ain't no such thing. Ain't no such thing to me. Ain't no such thing. Ain't no such thing. See, but nobody don't want no masculine woman, man. Nobody don't want no nobody masculine woman. What am I gonna do with that? That's like a woman want a feminine man. Yeah, come on, man. That don't make no sense. You think a woman want a feminine man? That's the same thing. I don't want no masculine woman, man. Just go find you a girlfriend. If she's bound with emotions and logic, she'll keep her for sure. Man, my woman got to be a revolutionary. Yeah, she got to be a revolutionary. Understand that she might get Straight funded up. one day, and we're going to need an escape plan. That's right. You dig? That's what she got to understand. It might get funky one day, and we need an escape plan. And we might got to defend these babies. And we can't be scared to give it up, and we got to give it up. Big Lumber Network say, you know, all the women love feminine men. You know what, bro? I'm going to be real with you. I had a conversation with my niece yesterday, and she said, just as happily, we were talking about, look, like tricks, right? We had a conversation about tricks. I said, man, a real bra, she'll never respect a bitch. She might deal with him, but she's not going to respect him. I said, you ain't never lie. I don't respect him, but I love tricks. But I love him. I ain't going to Oh, y'all saw that um, little clip that went viral? Uh, she's not a girl how to dance on the wall? No, she video her whole little thing with, with, uh, with, with men, with different dudes, right? Like she can get dudes. Oh, kissing niggas and all that? Oh, oh my God. Know, that one? But yeah, but you know they found a video of her and they, they kind of gave you a uh, concept of why she was doing it. They, they, they showed her once before she was a big girl. Yeah. And then she got her body together and then she felt like I can get you still for the street, Any though. Man, but man, that was that was so gross to me. Like, I'm sticking that telling everybody mouth. That was gross to me. Man, that no indeed. Hard. I don't want no bro that everybody can have, man. Did you mess with anybody? Like, no indeed, man. Running. No indeed, man. Denisha from New Orleans. Denisha said, shit, I don't love no feminine man. I'm like, my man being a dominant god. Yeah, I don't think women like no feminine I'm talking about Denisha. Speak up. Yeah. And bless up. Bless up, Denisha. That's what I wanted to say, too, when they asked that question. When they asked that question, my all this, you know, one, most uh, some women will say that they are, that the female is, but what, but they do, but those are, those are the ones who mostly independent. Um, all this is, is, the, is, is the key. The strongest one in their life. life. I don't need no man, I don't need that's a girl. man, though. That's a Listen, male figure. Hey, okay. When you ask a woman what kind of man she wants, if she wants a man that, that, she, that she's smarter than, she want to control that man. Yeah. A real woman want a man that's smarter than her because she going to say, I want a nigga to tell me what to do. Yeah, I want him to lead. To go, I want him to lead. Yeah. So he got to be smarter than me. You know what I'm saying? So we can end that conversation right there. The man must be more competent than you. As far as a man go, we don't care if you smart or you dumb. We don't care. That got nothing to do with your guy. Do no, don't just be no fucking uh, bowl of mother, a bowl of butt. Don't be that kind of dumb. No, I don't bowl mean, of... I mean, I think I'll take a, a girl that work at McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If he like her. You know what I'm saying? That boy, I would say, do track matters, uh, records matter? Does it matter how many miles she got? Um, yes. That depends. That depends. That depends. For what? For, for to be a wife? I, if I don't know. Or for to be if, your girl? Yeah. Put it like this here. If she worse than me, I'm going to keep it all the way focused. On, keep it focused. Boy. If, I, if I'm fucking with her and I'm in love with her, we're already fucking around, and I find out 10 years later she had a sex tape or something, it's too late. It's fuck too late. It's a different too story late. because your feelings are organic. It depends on what you know. You ain't based off what you knew. I'm gonna be I'm gonna too late. It. I'm gonna keep it phone. That's what I'm saying. It's I, not based I, off I track better than words than mine. Fuck it, it's mine now. That's me. That's me now. Y'all have fun with it. I'm like, y'all know what it is for that. That's me now. Y'all see why I got it like I got it. Yeah. Your relationship and your feelings for her is advanced, organic. So that's a different story. Yeah. Opposed to you. Okay, man, who that is over there? Who short is over there? And then your homeboy sitting there saying, man, oh, man, she was a jump off. Man, everybody in the project just slammed up. 
So now you're going to go at her like you want her to be your girl for the rest of your life? No, I'm saying that's, why, no, that's, that's why, why you said it. I was already coming on the It was already 10 years in. And I find out later. And I find out later, like, fuck it. I've been fucking yeah. up for 10 years yeah, now. That's different circumstances. But if I'm just meeting right. me, I'm like, oh, that's because no, I can't you don't know. Well, that'd be a dummy move. That's a sucker move. That boy say, with y'all wife a chick, you bitch match the first night. Depends. I would. It depends. I would. Yes. Yes. Why not? Why not? Why not? I had to talk to my, my homeboy. I said, man, just because she ain't no, you smashed the first night don't mean she ain't no thot. No, my partner was like, no, no. My partner was like, man, I be laying down with him. said, please don't let him fuck. Please don't let me fuck. He said, soon as you let him fuck, you don't want to fuck with me. See, people, I think that, 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 I think that, that, that saying is. I respect his game, too, though. Is, uh, is, is, when you say it like that on the first night, when you know damn well you meet a chick, you get her number, you call her, y'all talk. She knows she won't give you the cat. Right, right, then, right then and there. She so, go. So yeah. when y'all do meet up face to face and y'all handle your business, you already talked up on that now. Now I'm Facts. saying? She Facts. knows she going to give you something. You know you going to get you something. Man, she done talk some shit. You done talk yeah. some shit. Come on, man. See, bro, you know why I said that, bro? Look, when I was younger, I didn't understand women. I didn't, I didn't understand life. And I thought that everybody that fucked them out on the first night was a freak and they fucked everybody on the first night. And that's not necessarily true all the time. Nah. Because sometimes you meet women that have been in relationships, though, and they'll break up with a man, and they'll go get themselves together, and get, they, get back on their shit, and they ain't fucking nigga the whole year. And they say, you know what? When I go out tonight, I see him. I like him. I've been seeing him for the last I've couple I've been weeks. liking him. We, I'm, I'm going to protect myself, and I'm going to get that dick alone tonight. I'm gonna get I respect a alone. female like that. That's right. I respect a female like that, though. I respect it. I'm sorry. I respect it. Yeah. Then they got some females, you know what I'm saying? Who fucking the old bum ass nigga named Henry or whatever. Yeah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Come to your house, play with you, ain't fucking you on the first day. Make, make you think she a good girl. But she going to the studio by the old bum ass nigga. About to eat everybody up in that bitch. About to eat everybody that ran through in the studio or whatever. You think she a good girl, but she ain't gave it to your lame man. Yeah, that ain't how that go, that man. That ain't how it go, homie. Sometimes it be the right place and right time. There it is right there. What matters more? Who she fucked or how many? See, I'm different, boy. I just said everybody ain't the same. I don't care. She don't say it. I've been a year celibate. That's exactly how it is. You, you know what I'm saying? You don't use it, you lose it, Janisha. Did. I'm trying to t- Janisha, come on now. You could I'm your I'm your boy. You could have called me. Could've, we could have worked something out. <laughs> let me stop playing. I'll let you borrow some meat until next week. Uh, bro. <laughs> I give you some job, meat to get on your feet. <laughs> <laughs> I give you some meat to the end of the week. To the end of the week. I'm just saying, no, just no. Come on, man. I'm your, I'm your friend. I'm your homeboy. I'm your homeboy. Nah, we joking. Send out the uh, big job, man. They said, man, y'all hating on Henry. Y'all heard me let him. No, I'm using Henry as an example, yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Some nigga be some kind of lame-ass nigga like yeah. that. You think you got you a, a somebody that's special. She leaving your house and come and get a pussy to me. Yeah. A rock or whoever else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't mean nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? You see, Janisha just said. You gonna you do this on live? I'm just playing, love one. Hey, man, y'all like the video, man. Big Twice Podcast. Josie, man. Josie, Josie, man. We ain't got but 20 more minutes. We gonna get up out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? You dig? Right. If I see the white girl I've been with 20 years and I fucked on the first night, and that's my wife. So that don't mean nothing if you're an adult, bro. Yeah. Any what you do is how you do it. At the end of the day, I'm going to fuck with who make me happy. Also, also Hall and Sosa, y'all think they're going to lock Jesus up for that BS? Well, they actually did lock him up and he made bonds. Nah, they ain't, they ain't, I don't think they're going to lock him back. Nah, they, they can't because if you do that, see, I think you and Jesus might even have a lawsuit on the people, man. Go fuck on this wrong thing, bro. Right. All these rappers that came home from jail and, 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 and work with rappers who got felons, you going to fuck with me? Yeah, I, come on, uh, man. Uh-uh, uh-uh, man. They're they gonna have to make that right, son. Matter of fact, you done made them miss money already. Hey, y'all hit the like button, man. Yeah, hit that you like button, that. man. Yeah. They got 126 likes. That's what's up. You yeah. been the algorithm for that. Yeah. Serious. Yeah. I see 126 over there. Like 149. Damn. Um, bro, yeah. Man, that's Appreciate what's up, man. man. Thank y'all, Appreciate man. Appreciate love tonight, man. Appreciate love tonight. Yeah. That's what's up. Thoughts on the state troopers being formed. Stop playing game with just the for the Twice podcast and followers, you know. Put it right there. Yeah, man. Appreciate that, that man. Showing That's love, man. One. You know what I'm saying? We just a little grassroots you know. organization, man. We just pushing through. White girl, oh no, if she can't use, come on, don't bring her home. Oh, all, all I'm saying is, brother, this is just me. Should die feel like this. Once she with me, she with me. I don't give a fuck about nothing before me, man. I don't care. Man, look, this how this how I be feeling, man. Look, first of all, we from New Orleans. New Orleans, New Orleans is a small city. Somebody to fuck somebody. Somebody, somebody to fuck somebody. Know. Somebody. No, I don't oh, care. Man. Just make me happy. Yeah. 
Oh, I don't give a fuck. I can erase your whole past and everything I knew about you if you make me happy. How you gonna have a future and build somebody in the future? You keep thinking about their past and your past. See, that's the thing. Like, like a lot of females don't realize a nigga really know you and he still fuck with you. Right. That's different than a nigga that you meet somewhere down the line and you trick him and he don't know nothing about and fool you. Fool him and shit. Yeah, and fool him and shit. And then he find out. You find out in your mind like this nigga ain't for me in the goddamn world. You know what I'm saying? What kind of show? This is a, a coup. Yeah, this is Ti shit. Ti shit. I really shouldn't take it. Ti with some money for rocking this for me. Really. Yeah. Appreciate you, Janice. You know that. I don't want to kick it to nobody in history. I was in the Navy. And I was in the Marines, Wolf. Yeah. And I was in the Marines. I've been a lot of places. Yeah. The hat. Yeah. I bought the hat with this with the shirt, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No did it, man. So y'all we got like 15 minutes. Y'all wanna get on some knowledge when we get up out here? But any other questions before we leave? See, Eddie. I you, know some of y'all like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, this is the thing, bro. Like, I'm, I'm gonna say this, like, women, let me tell you how women got it confused, bro. Like, and I say this in the last lie. They want you to buy them a drink if you're in their face talking to them, because they're gonna judge you off of that. They're gonna judge you like, and if you don't buy a drink, you broke, you tight, you, 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 you lame, you know. They might judge you off of that, but it'll be wrong. But at the same time, they don't want to talk to a dude that go in the club and bribe bras drinks all the time. But if I don't buy you a drink, I'm lame. Margaret Brennan on, say man. a lot of women know when they come across a lame dude. But fellas, understand, you just ain't fast enough for her. That's it. That's it. Now, that's I agree it. with that. I agree with that. That is it. That's not all women. No, we never put all women in, in, in one category. In one category. We never do that. We never no. put our women in one category. You know what I'm saying? You never do that. Big Lawrence said, my mother-in-law introduced me to my wife. Well, damn. Damn. That's awesome. So that must mean y'all cool. See if you cool with the mother-in-law? That's big right there, son. Because she be in her ear. Yeah. But if you righteous, it don't matter if she in her ear or not. All right. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to drop some knowledge. See, since yesterday was Easter, right? I want y'all to go, 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 go research and study the origin of Easter. Put one and two together. That's what I want y'all to do. Mm-hmm. On April Fool's Day, don't be a fool on April Fool's Day. You did. That's all. That's what I'm asking y'all to do. You did. That boss, I was a cab driver for United Cab and used to always bring our mother to make groceries. <laughs> yeah, yes, star. It started too in certain languages, yeah. man. Oh, it started there. It started there. Oh, it started too. Yeah. That was the uh, queen of fertility. Yeah, the, the they sex got goddess. Sex goddess. They got countless stories besides the story of uh, oh, some man. resurrection. That shit is weird they and big and It's wild. It's a, it's a, wild. It's a reason why, why why they was hiding them Easter eggs, bro. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I'm going to tell the study, go look it up, though. For the ones that don't know. Open your mind up, man. You know, ain't nothing wrong with getting no knowledge, man. Yeah. You know, if you believe in the Bible, the Bible said, man, you know, you'll be stubborn and stiff neck. You'll reject knowledge. See, but did you'll perish for a lack of knowledge. Did y'all see the, uh, the guard at Duke? McCain, your boy got the NIL for the, for the, for the fingernails? No. He got nail polish. He got an NIL for nail polish brand. Uh, what do you call it? Hanson. I got that from Worldstar. Worldstar made that report. But he got an NIL deal for the uh, Sally Hanson. That's the name of the brand. His boy got nail polish on both his hands, bro. But he got an NIL deal for wearing that. That boy said... That boy said, was Jesus born on April 1st? Nobody don't know when Jesus was born. I'm going to stop saying, I'm going to stop saying when it really, Jesus. Yeah. Nobody don't know when he was born. Uh, he was never born. He asked me, but that's another subject. What y'all would have did with a female on thin line between love and hate? Plenty of females I'm attracted to might be crazy. I'd have banged out of the strain and all that on that hook. Straight like that. Me too. Me too. Me too. Yeah, he got the second largest uh, NIL behind Brian and James, bro, behind wearing nail polish. Big Lawrence said, y'all keep up this situation and what happened in Haiti. Yeah, we keeping up a little bit with it, bro, but not fully. It's hard to follow at, at this point. Because I know they lie. I know they lie a lot. You know, I know they lie a lot. Man, I don't understand how shit got so mis- misconstrued with mm-hmm. relationships. We need each other. And black love is so beautiful when one one accord, trust, respect, submit, and teamwork. That's what we say too, Layla. We always say on our show that we can't raise no higher than our women, and our women can't raise no higher than us. So when they got twisted, we got to do it together. It got twisted when women felt like they didn't need men no more. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And, and, and that was and, created by the, the people uh, giving them uh, all of the jobs and the positions and things. Not saying that they couldn't get these jobs and these positions, but they, they purposely put them there and gave them that confidence. 
And Crazy Girl got that good booty cat. I couldn't even tell you. I don't mess with Crazy Girl. Neither. I don't fuck with no Crazy Girl. Fuck no. I ain't I got time. No. I'm already crazy myself. I don't fuck with no crazy ones, bro. Life too short for that, bro. I smoke weed and feel good too good too too much to be fucking with somebody no, that's crazy. I just pass the baby around for that shit. For real. But you know why I get you know where I got messed up at? I'm telling you, you know I'm not just blaming women. But you women, y'all got the power. Look, but look what uh, look what uh it seems like it's always the women. Y'all seen R. Kelly and uh Wag 100 phone call? No, I ain't see it, bro. That boy all thing popping TV say Billy Carson pseudo. He said they got people living on the sun. If he said that, he's pseudo. He's pseudo. If he said that, he is pseudo. We can't prove that. He's just saying they living on the sun. I said, what's the purpose? Yeah, what's the purpose? Why they living on the sun? So, uh, Man, yeah, the sun's so goddamn hot. Living for the eight points for the city. The it government, the government, the government don't notice. Y'all don't notice that a lot of these other, um, you know, subjects that these people, sub, you know, subscribe to. They don't have no evidence to back That man it. just say Billy Carson go hard. You mean Billy Carson that said they got people living on the sun? He go hard? Come on, man. See, say Come GK, too. That's why I Come tell you. Come on, man. That's why I tell you to eat the fish and spit, spit out, out the, the bones, bones, bro. The Billy Carson, he just talked some good stuff. He just about living on the sun. Yeah. He's pseudo. Yeah. Like, that's pseudo, bro. Yeah. Yeah, he do some ancient text. But come on, man. Some of this stuff, you got to just come on, think. Yeah, hey, common sense. Hey, common say, bro. Sense tell you that, bro. Let's keep it 100. When they go to talk about stuff that... Think you you know you can't prove for sure. That's pseudo. Nobody can't prove it. Come on, man. You can dismiss that. Either. Yeah, it don't make See, no bro, sense. Say, but listen, man. I love I love Umar Johnson. I don't agree with everything he say. Yeah, no, me bro. too. You know, I, like I love Khalid Muhammad. I love um, Farrakhan. Yeah, I don't agree with everything he say. I, I like, like yep. Farrakhan, Brother Jabari, my favorite scholar. I don't agree with everything Rizzo, he say. Yeah, all them Chris Harris. Yeah, yeah. You know? they be talking some good stuff, man. But, but when they go, when they get to, when they go to their belief system, that, that's when, that's when, that's when they decision. lose me. The thing is, though, I don't, I don't have to agree with everything they say, though. That's the whole thing, though. I don't have to agree with everything you say. I eat the fish, spit yeah. out the bones. I take what's applicable, what's as applicable as to me. It's going down on what the, uh, what the belief story behind the truth is. Man, I'm tired of teaching people about religion and the Bible. Yeah, and all, and all yeah, that, that, no, no. It's 2025, bro. That, if you don't know, you ain't, you ain't gonna never know. You you ain't gonna never know, bro. I just know. came to the grip that It's a that's good question that look, it's a good question that you asked for the last ten minutes. Gulu Gullah Ho- Hoodoo says, Do y'all think the black woman has has substituted the black man for Jesus because they all felt like we have let them down? I hear black women say all the time that Jesus is their husband or boyfriend. Yeah. And that's a delusion if you ask me. Yeah, I, I hear some of them say that, but yeah, they delude they delusion. I think that too, uh, but yeah, that's that to a certain extent, yes. Everything Bully talks about, uh, Billy talks about, is an ancient text. Because even in sex, they be screaming, Jesus, not baby, uh, husband, uh, Now, you believe in ancient text, that's on you, because that's where this work comes from. I don't have to believe in anything, bro. That's the whole thing. I don't believe in nothing. I don't have to believe something. Because it's written in ancient text don't mean it's real. Come on, man. I don't know. <laughs> the Babylonians wrote about all types of shit. Hell, yeah. yeah. If I'm good, but I don't know if I'm good. The Greeks had a whole mythology story. That means it's real because it's written in ancient text? Come on, man. Jesus cheating. He for the streets. Greek mythology is... is, is yeah, we talked about that, man. Hold up, hold up. son getting killed. We talked about that, bro. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Getting hold up, hold up. Hold up. Merkel said, niggas don't believe in God because they can't see him, but I bet they believe in him. Say, bro, I, I do, do not believe in God because I do not see him. And I know him. <laughs> I believe... I don't believe in God because I, I don't have no need for belief. Ask yourself, why do you absolutely have to believe in something? Why you have a why you have a need? It's a must that you have to believe in something. And, and I know it's L L air. I know air exists. I know. Man, we can measure L, man. We can take I don't, I don't have no belief but to believe air is there. I know. It's a chemical makeup for air. It's, it's oxygen. It's called H two O. It's a difference, man. Oxygen. Yeah, oxygen. See, that, that's that's when you when you ask those that. kind of questions. Yeah. You um mixing belief and knowing together. And you see, it's not the same. Carson believes that Anunnaki BS. See, but this is what I'm saying is black people. Anunnaki, uh, uh, Elohim, angels, giants, uh, 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 what else? Nephilim. I don't give a damn about now. One of them are uh, uh, supposed to be having powerful beings from somewhere. Listen, sky, bro, bro. Listen, I'm a proletarian revolutionary. I care about in action with our people right now. 
I ain't talking about no Sky Daddy, no Elohim, and no Naki, Naki Nephilim, no. Giants wait, wait, coming wait. back to say, um, if you ain't, Angels. If you're not here to intervene in our affairs right now. Reptil- reptilians. Hold on, hold on. Fuck you. Hold Fuck. on, hold on. You know, you know, you know, most people who who uh subscribe to who subscribe to what we do. Um, we don't we don't use that. We don't use that that stuff like who who created who and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, we still just be on one thing. Let's get together and so we can get what we need. Yeah, they stuck on that. On. Yeah, we yeah. don't give them where we came from. Yeah. If you ask us in one one, if you ask me, I'm gonna say we came from a woman, a black woman. That's it, and that's it. Yeah, uh, uh yeah. Billy backs up. Work with real science. How can he back up real science with Anunnaki? Ain't been proven to exist nowhere. Don't nobody living on no sun, man. How that science, man. Don't nobody living on no sun, man. A lot of scientists ain't the quantum physics, but what does that mean? See, y'all believe in this Atlantis and Turtle Island bullshit, bro. Ain't nobody into all that, bro. Yeah, okay, a lot of Jay said, twin said he believed for over twenty something years. What changed? Just ask him respectfully. You know what changed? I'm gonna tell you what changed because. People would challenge my religion, and I was a Christian, and I knew all the scriptures. I knew everything to say to combat what they were saying. I fought with God forever, until yeah. I started researching, not to not to not to not to strengthen my belief, but but to challenge my belief, to challenge what I believed in. When I started doing that, then I started noticing, oh shit, you know, ain't nobody never lived with the name of Matthew, John, Luke. Ain't no graves with none of these people, none of that type of shit. But then my thing was, I kept trying to get some other outside reference and kept sending me back to the book. And I was like, shit, I ain't got nothing else outside of this book to prove it. So I was stuck. And you gotta understand that black black people been involved for 50 million years, man. The Bible ain't number five to 7,000 years old, folks. So when I got this, this when I got this stuff, I get pumped with everything. Then everything I can go see right now today. He says, what do y'all think happens when you die? Say Margaret Brandon. Guess what? Nobody knows. Because nobody never came back on the other side and said, hey, man, heaven was kind of cool, you know. They had, I seen the pearl I can tell you where that story comes from. But oh, they're lying said they saw hell, you know. Make you go to somewhere. If you was a good person, so they ain't going to get talked on forever and ever and ever. You know? Man, look, why, why we don't worry about what, what you know why we live? You know, worry about having a heaven while we're right here on earth, man. Create, create our heaven while we're right here. If you believe in God and the Bible and all that, man, that was, they were telling you, man, to create, create it while you're right here. You know, they tell you about a, a street paid with goals and ma- many mansions and all this and that type of shit up there. Go but down here, man. our people suffering, our children dying, they why got stolen. Why you got to die to get that? Why, why, you, why you got to die to have that? Don't you want that right now? And if it was so, if it was so good uh, doing that, why you ain't going to jump off the damn bridge and come let them die? How about that? Oh, go ahead, I'll get you okay, okay. okay. Lamurka said, said, you can't see shit, don't mean it ain't there. Some people never saw a ghost, but trust that they exist. I'm a witness. Put it like this, yeah, brother. Me too. Put it like this. this. People don't believe it. I mean, the reason why I don't believe it is not because I don't see it. See what I'm saying? That's not the reason why, but I just don't have a need for belief, brother. I don't have a need for belief. You do. Until you come on to knowledge and, and, and come on to sense and you, you do some research and some study, you see, you don't have to, you don't you don't have a need for belief either. Only way you believe is you scared not to believe or challenge your belief. You scared. You scared of a place called hell. Right. You scared of that, bro. I'm not scared of that, homie. Yeah. You fear that, not me. Man, Edward Jones said God was created to deflect away from the failure of the king on earth so he doesn't get sacrificed, especially when it, when the crops aren't coming through and disaster and invasions. That's true. Margaret Brennan said, true statement, bro. My grandmother passed a year ago. I kissed her when she died. That was the first and last time I ever kissed her. I was dreaming about her a lot. Man, it's a fear-based religion, man. You know? Yeah, this was an afterlife. Well, they had a heaven right here. That's what people fail to realize. You get your heaven when you die. Yeah, you get your heaven when you die. But in the meantime, you're going to have his heaven right here. So you sit around on your knees praying, and in the book, he getting knocked off his ass and making it happen. And guess what? Difference. Nobody learn, in heaven yet. Will you learn of this heaven and, and this Jesus and this it's Jesus and it's heaven and all this stuff. You get you learn it from one book. One book that gives you the answers that you feel. They gave you that book. They told you you can read what you need to read. Yeah. The problem is a lot of y'all, and I'm gonna tell you, I don't care, I'm gonna tell you to your face. 
problem is a lot of y'all are scared. You're terrified. The channel that you know just ain't right. You go to that church, and I'm telling you, you looking at you looking at me right now. I don't care if you get mad, scratch your ass. You go to that church, you know the pastors and the deacons fucking each other. You know all this dirty, nasty stuff going on in the church. You stay there because you're scared. You're scared because you don't want to fix yourself on the inside. So you're gonna blame it on the church and repent and ask people to pray for you and stay prayed up. You understand what I'm telling you? No, fix what's wrong with you on on dig inside yourself and make it happen. Yeah. Stop depending on something outside you to manifest something in your life, man. It's all fear based. It's all fear based. Everything you know what I'm saying? It's all fear based. The Bible and religion keep you in order. But yeah, when you when you read all the feel good verses, yeah. What about the verses when God take you to stone verses and kill verses? Uh, 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 in the old testament, they tell you if, if, if you betroth a woman, you can you can you can marry, make her marry you. Yeah, right. if, if you if you grateful, you yeah. know you have the right to marry her. You yeah. know what about right. the verses right there? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That keep people in order. No, because y'all like doing reading the feel good verses. Y'all skip over all other verses in the Bible. Yeah. That's why I know people that be studying that book, they don't cherry read the whole pick. book. They yeah. cherry pick and make them feel good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Look, Merka. You can't verify the Bible with the Bible. That's facts. It's all popping That's right. TV. That's yeah. facts. You can't. Yeah. It's like Spider Man. Now, I can't prove Spider Man don't exist. Because for, for you to discredit something, it have to have credibility to from begin the beginning. with. From the beginning. I can't discredit something that don't have credibility to begin with. How can I discredit Santa Claus? How can you prove he don't exist? Tell me that. See? Yeah. That's the same thing when it comes out of this religion and yeah. all these characters in the Bible yeah. and all that, man. Yeah. Say, bro, all these years, you don't think nobody, you know, <laughs> why do you think this God don't speak for itself, bro? I used to be on my knees thinking God was talking to me. I used to be praying. Why well, don't have no death story? Yes, my son. You know, thinking God talking to me. I'm like, let me get the fuck up. I'm talking have to a story. I'm talking about. to myself. Do they have a story of uh, when Matthew died? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Probably. I don't know. Probably. Have you ever seen some shit that can't be explained? That's life, homie. Moses. There's that's a lot of things that can't be explained. You see? Well, you're Moses, uh, you no see? Days that. But that's why, that's why God created the Bible and he created man. He created God. See what I'm saying? Man created God so, so God, that God could create man. man. What I mean is, we have an answer for things. Oh, God. Don't we question them. We, we don't know. We know the answer. Oh, God did it. How the animals got here? God. Say, we got here? God. I'm going to give you some game real quick, dog, about life. Two things I'm going to tell you about life, boy. And no matter how old you get or how young you get, don't never forget what I'm about to tell you. Daddy ran up out of here? Two things about life, boy. Shit happens, then it goes on, my nigga. Daddy ran up out of here, though? On everything. We knew they were going to run about it like a scalded dog. Yeah, I didn't man. know it about that time. Yeah, it's all good. We got it in anyway. Yeah, we got it. It's, it's time for us to get up out of anyway, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, listen. God ain't nothing but a Germanic word. And God is not a gender. not a man. It's not a woman. It's genderless. It's a new. It's, 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 it's a new noun. It's a new noun. Like okay. it, them of it. Right. So what I'm going to tell you is this year. The God you're looking for outside of you is in you. The spirit of God is in you. And the devil is in you. If you want to use the devil as a term. Yeah. That's what I'm to say is you have negative, ne negative aspects of self. You have positive aspects of self. What do you want to manifest as an individual? That's going to be the devil and God that you ever experienced in your life right there. Facts. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got to understand, bro. What you want to manifest? You can step outside and go shoot your gun and burn a motherfucker crispy. Or you can go outside and show the next person love. Give him a hug. It's up to you. You know, what you, what you want to manifest? That's facts. And what you put out is what you get. Yeah. And live your life like that, man. You'll be all right. So when I die and I see God, I ain't got no jealousy in my heart. Am I wrong about everything I'm saying? I'm going to tell him, hey, man, I just have enough evidence to believe in you, bro. That's it. You know, a lot of people were persecuted, getting killed, hung, lynched, and all that. You never showed up. So I, I didn't believe you existed. I'm sorry. So it's voodoo. Will, so it's voodoo. Make so it's voodoo and, wit and witchcraft real? Well, voodoo, is they made it evil, but it's not evil. Well, witchcraft, I don't know. I, I believe, yes, it could be real, but I don't know, though. That's why, if I was to say, if you was to ask me, uh, I know yes, voodoo simply means all they did spirit. was use spells. The words is spells. So they just spoke different words to, to, to you. And it, that does work, man. Listen, I'm telling you, I wish I could put, find this video. This is video of this dog, and he watching this, uh, uh, one of them vampire shows with the girl and shit, and they got the werewolves or whatever. Mm -hmm. one of Twilight? Them, Twilight, yeah, yeah. shit like that. Yeah. And the dog watching, and he got a little stuffed toy, and they got a scene when they about to fight with the wolves, turn, they turn the wolves, yeah. and just by the dialogue, not seeing what really happening yet, and the music, you know, you know, and it's getting tense. Yeah. The little dog getting tense. And when they get into it, that dog, he's shaking that motherfucker. Man. And this thing is thing. shaking his little fucking little toy. Yeah. yeah. Like he in the bathroom and shit, you yeah. know? Yeah. 
Yeah. And this a dog watch, so this they can leave the little kids in front of the TV mm-hmm. watching certain shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What it can, what it can do to the yeah. mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, facts. Mm-hmm. Voodoo is a Haitian, Haitian Creole culture. That's facts. But we gotta make something clear about when you think about voodoo. Stop thinking about chicken heads and blood and, and evil. evil and voodoo dolls and, and evil shit. Controlling people. Stop thinking that. about that. Voodoo it's is medicine. Voodoo, voodoo initially was an attempt for our people to connect themselves with aspects of nature. Right. That's all it was. So voodoo simply means spirit. spirit. That's it. That's what it means. Okay. So let's just make that clear. If you ask somebody to tell you the truth about what voodoo actually is, is there negative aspects? Possibly. But is there positive aspects? There's negative, positive, everything Listen, in this world you do, man. It's like this. I want y'all to peep this game. Get on full with it. Same people that told you about talking donkey, talking snake, a man living in the world for three days, the same people that told you that voodoo was evil and that a white man discovered America, man. All this type of bullshit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That we come from America and all that. You know what I'm saying? We come from that continent. We come from them thrones, baby. The greatest, most uh, 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 livestock diverse, uh, uh, geographically diverse place on the planet. It, it ain't this sinking ship. We know, man, we better get up out of here, man. It's 11 to 4, man. Yeah. I got a nice little ride ahead of me. Appreciate y'all, man, for tuning in to Think Twice Podcast. Y'all hit that cash app, man. Think Twice Podcast, twice with the two, man. You What's heard up, me? No Face? What's up, No Face? Been a minute, homie. I see you, St. Louis, tapping in, man. We've been over two hours now, though. Yeah. Time for the slide. Yeah, Voodoo was before Haitians. That's facts. That was... Yeah, Voodoo before Haitians. That came from West Africa. Uh, the doggone tribe is doing it too. Yeah, G G two K two. So I got some I, I I got some knowledge for y'all. What you talking about, bro? We just talking about right quick. Before we get out of here, we gonna get up out of here after this year, man. What you talking about? I like to get on that knowledge, man. You know we gotta share this here and build it, and you know still sharp and still. Yeah. Love Kobe. What's up, Cuzzo? Voodoo. It's Voodoo. It's Voodoo. The one from Africa is called Voodoo. It's called Voodoo. Put an N on there. Put an it's N on Voodoo. there. Voodoo. They say Voodoo only work if you believe. Well, see, Voodoo just ain't about doing evil spells on people. Yeah. Though. See, everything they don't understand, they villainize and make it evil. That's right. That's what they did with our, with, with our, with our original African spiritual system. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Although they do have shit where they do dance with animals, sacrifice with animals, though. It wasn't necessarily something evil. Yeah. They make everything that we did that was that was culturally that natural to us. Understand. They villainized it. Yeah, they villainized it, bro. Mm-hmm. So you, you got to really look at that and understand that it ain't necessarily evil like that. Yeah. Yeah. We about to get out of here, though, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Thanks for coming on the live Think Twice podcast. Again, we'll hit that cash app. We'll be back Wednesday. You dig? Uh, y'all hit the cash app, man. Think Twice podcast with the two. Yeah. You dig? Appreciate y'all, We'll be man. back Wednesday, y'all. We'll get back on that knowledge y'all want some more. Peace. Don't well, come with that Indian shit, though, Mike D. Don't come with that Indian shit. Yeah, y'all dying yeah. slowly, boy. Yeah, boy, that shit over with. Everybody know